Earth. Air. Water. Fire. For the longest time, the four nations have lived together in harmony. Under the wise leadership of Avatar Roku, the world has experienced an era of peace and prosperity. But with the recent death of Avatar Roku and the arrival of a strange comet in the sky, members of all nations feel the winds and tides of change. With the search for the new Avatar only just beginning, the world seems poised on the brink of conflict. But without the Avatar, who will save the world? Uh, my name is Bree, also known as Pretty Pixel, and I am playing Sherva, a warrior from the Fire Nation. I play Marco, a firebender from the Fire Nation. Hello, I'm Ali, and I'm playing Oki, a waterbender from the Northern Water Tribe. I'm Brandon, and I'm Rung Bolo, an earthbender from the Earth Nation. Hey, I'm Dave, and my character is Al, the airbender from the Air Nomads. And I'm Owen, the dungeon master of this ragtag group of members of all four nations. Surprise. We're here! Hello, hello! How you doing, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to the Lost Archives. My name's Owen. Hello. All our lovely people here. Say hello, lovely people. Give us a wave. Yeah! Hello, 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 people. Give us a wave. Hello. <laughs> I did not tell you to say that, you absolute idiot. For the first time you've played yourself, Brandon. <laughs> Normally I say, say hello, lovely people, but I didn't say it this time, so you just made yourself look like a fool. Uh, yeah, certainly you. certainly by me calling Lose you out you and making well. you big... <laughs> 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 onto you, mother. <laughs> I know how you um, welcome back, everybody. Hello. We have missed you all greatly for Avatar The Last Ender, so welcome. I hope everyone's been well. I hope everyone's been uh, doing okay. It's been uh, been at least it's been two weeks since we last played Avatar. Holy shit. That's crazy. Man, I hope we can remember what happened last session because it was a cliffhanger. Before uh, we get into that. Everything was fine. Everything was fine. Yeah, that's right. I do remember yeah. that. Everything being absolutely Until the fine. Fire Nation mm. fucked up. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Which time? Um, exactly, exactly. Uh, last night, thank you for joining us for um, the Lost Archives Tyranny of Dragons campaign. We had a, had a whole bunch of people jump in. Thank you very much. Thank you to Evildoer for the lurk. Uh, sorry, for the for the raid with your uh, crowd as well. That was lovely. Thank you very much. Um, we uh, we had some people saving up some channel points as well. I know that there is a uh, someone's going to be spending some channel points so that their kid can design a, a character. Very excited for that. I think that's awesome please feel free to do the exact same thing for this stream as well. Remember, you can spend your channel points to create NPCs um, just as you can for D&D. You can do it for here as well. You can also do it to summon monsters. I stand by that. You can still see, you can, if you tell me the name of something, like an animal combination you want to summon into Avatar Legends, fucking done. You spend the points, it's I'm yours. so close to giving myself advantage. <laughs> so close. I, have I told you what happens when one of you guys tries to give yourselves advantage? Oh, cool. Right, you find out then. Um, okay, I'll give it to Mark. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> a, you can give it to other people. For that's anyone fine. who's listening, there's a visible face of concern on me right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing these things. Nah, I'm kidding. Um, so, so thank you for joining us for Charity uh, of Dragons. It was an awesome session last night. Um, so thank you for joining us. Tonight we're playing Avatar Legends Saturday morning. I'll be doing some Pokemon Legends Arcy. So anyone who wants to come and jump on, I'll be in the Discord, the Lounge Discord. Um, I know the, the crew, the crew who know who that is. So anyone wants to jump on and have a chat while I'm doing it, more than happy to have a bit of a chat while playing. Super, super hyped. I've been managing to keep mostly blind, so I still don't know most of what's going on in the game. Um, very excited to play a blind playthrough. I've heard some positive things, so I'm, I'm a bit keen. So hopefully that'll be lots of fun. Uh, so yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys Saturday morning. Yeah, you've played it, haven't you? You've been enjoying it quite a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm now at a ungodly amount of hours. How many hours are you at right now? Because you were at 40 last night, so what are you at now? About 48. Jeez. I, I was playing for <laughs> most of today. Oh my god. <laughs> well, okay, like, job. Some of us have to work for a living. <laughs> it's a long time for my work to like load and stuff, so I've got to do eight, Not, <laughs> not, like, not eight speed. hours. I know for a fact it does not take eight hours to boot up a computer. If it does, something's wrong with your computer. <laughs> I've missed Ali. I haven't seen her for weeks. <laughs> I remember what it was like to have a partner. <laughs> Dave, have you, I saw you nodding. Have you been playing some Legends Arceus as well? It's very, very addictive. 
It is, oh, no. it is. You can play it for five minutes. You can play it for half an hour. You can play it for 12 hours. Oh, it's, it's, perfect. It's, <laughs> yeah. And you won't realize that 12 hours have passed. You'll be like, yeah, it's still 10 minutes. Oh, no, it's tomorrow. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Because I, <laughs> I, I do have an event on. I do an event on Saturday lunchtime I need to be at. So I will. I'll have a big clock up on the screen so that I'll, I know what be time late now. I'll be late now. Okay. Well, there you go. I'll just accept that. Yeah, cool. Oh, dearie me. Um, alrighty. That's enough about Legends Arceus. We'll talk about that Saturday. We'll see that. Tonight we're playing Avatar Legends. So I better do a bit of a recap to catch us up to what happens. So. <clears throat> Our story has been following Sherva and Marco of the Fire Nation, Rung of the Earth Kingdom, Oki of the Water Tribe, and Arl of the Air Nomads. The children of important ambassadors of each of the four nations, they've been attending a historic summit at the Bayfong Estate. With the recent death of Avatar Broku and the arrival of a strange comet in the sky, omens of war and conflict seem numerous. After being captured by the Dai Li, the group managed to escape into the Seawong Desert. After some assistance from a friendly sand vendor, the group sought refuge in the Misty Palms Oasis and acquired a sand ship of their own. Spending some downtime, the group discussed their plans and prepared for the journey ahead, but after Marco revealed his identity to the local Earth Kingdom soldiers by saying his name in front of them, the group were forced to flee the Oasis with two Earth Kingdom students in tow, searching for the lost library of one Shito. You'd think the party would have learnt not to say their own names, but spoiler alert! <laughs> um, locating the library deep within the desert, the group spent some time exploring and learnt some interesting information from the various historical and vending scrolls contained within However, their time in the library was cut short by the arrival of a number of firebenders and Fire Nation soldiers led by a priest of the Fire Nation. The Fire Nation priest revealed that five of our heroes are now wanted for the murder of the Fire Nation ambassador, also Marco's father, and conspiring to disrupt the peace summit. After attempting to clear their names, the argument between the group and the Fire Nation enraged Wan Shitong, who began sinking the library deep into the sands. The team then made their way towards the Siwong Rock, a giant magnetic meteorite in the center of the desert. After bluffing their way into the Fire Nation outpost set up alongside the rock, the party realized that the Fire Nation were in the process of mining and refining the rock into extremely strong magnets for some unknown purpose. Pretending to be students from Ba Sing Se, this team were introduced to an older Earth Nation student, Cole, and Fire Nation students Shah, Jared, and Jared. While Rung read his first book, on rocks of course, and Marco spoke with Cole about the spirits of aquatic life in the desert, Oki discovered the Buzzard Hornet slime could be mixed with refined rock dust to create a flammable substance. Uh, which we were calling Burnite, not the Burn. Uh, she, Sherva, Al, and the Fire Nation students started creating small explosions using this new discovery. The fun was not to last, however. Sherva accidentally used her real name and Marco's real name and Oki's real name in front of the Fire Nation students, something that did not go unnoticed by Shah. Al, not sure whether Shah was onto them or flirting with him, decided to follow her when she made a proposition to go and fetch some more. Uh, more refined rocks for the experiments they were conducting with explosions. After some tense moments on the staircase heading down from the rock towards the Fire Nation encampment, eventually Arl had to take action and using his airbending caused her to fall down the last few steps and smash into the hard packed earth below. We ended last session as a group, two Fire Nation soldiers stepped up and went, what's going on here? And <clears throat> Shah goes, it's them, it's the fugitives from the posters. I, I still got my reward though, right? And that's where we left off last session. Ah, you're dressed in sandbender ropes, standing on the staircase. Shah is covered in dusty sand, having landed at the bottom of the staircase, fallen down like two, three stairs at the very last second as you airbended her legs out from underneath her. The two soldiers are now standing just near her. One of them's offering her a hand up, but the other one's looking towards you and looking back at her. It's a very serious accusation. Are you sure about this? Uh, I think I think she hit her head on the way down. I, I fell as well. Um, is, is she all right? I'm fine. Clearly, these people. They, they're what about the fine issue? I want my reward. I, she doesn't sound all right. She's talking about a reward that. I, I, she she's been rambling for a while. Like she she she. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to think that it's not just Dave who's flaring Arl in it. He's like, ah, I have really good excuses as to why you shouldn't do anything to me. I will think of it. <laughs> so like I've had two two weeks in RL. <laughs> <laughs> you have you've had two full weeks to think of an excuse, and you still don't have one. I love it. No, no, I, I live in the moment. I live in the moment. There's, there's no prep in uh, in uh, coming. That's fantastic. Experience. Please do not metagaming. Um. So I guess I'll like 
Oh, gosh. The, um, yeah, um, yeah, okay, so... <laughs> this, this, first of all, does she look all right? Al feels bad for having to push her. She looks okay. She, she's just sort of dusting off the sand. At this point, as she's standing up, the, the other Fire Nation soldier having helped her up. She's just dusting her robes off um, and looks back and goes, okay. Seriously, why, why aren't you arresting him? He's on those unwanted posters. They look back and go, uh, uh, Sha, Sha, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're all right. Uh, is, is, uh, I think someone's calling me from upstairs. Uh, I, I, I gotta go. The, um, Son, the, stop the right science there. team stop. beat me. Don't move. Come down the stairs. Al's like halfway walking and he's just come, stands come still. He's like, uh, you, you told me not to move. Yeah, I'm now telling you to come down the stairs. At the same time as not moving? Nope. You can now move. Come down the stairs. Okay. Cool. I'll very, very slowly find time for the others. One step at a time, pretending to have a twisted ankle, limps down the stairs. Are you okay? What, what happened? Have you hurt yourself? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I fell as well. She she pushed me and then like brushed past and, and started rambling about him. a reward and, and then she fell on herself. I didn't push him. They look sort of between the two of you. Could you roll me to trick an NPC, please? We, we, we had you, a moment. You could be onto something here. <laughs> you, okay, no, no, good. Keep going. No, no, keep saying. What were you saying? You had a moment. Uh, like we, we had a, a moment and then I think, I think she got cold feet and then like ran away. Okay. And now, now she wants me in prison because she doesn't like me anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll, um, yeah, I'll get a roll for that, please. <laughs> I mean, everyone's uh, been there before. Is it, is it tricks or push your luck? <laughs> I would allow it because you are, you oh, are okay. pushing your luck. Uh, creativity push your luck is passion. I am not a passionate person. Trick it is. Uh -huh. Did it roll? Okay. Get, I can't see it. Oh. <laughs> well, I still can't see it. Well, full success. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> guards sort of look towards you and look towards her. Seriously, are you going to be wasting our time with this bullshit? No, it's really him. Look, come, come with me. And she grabs one of the guards and begins trying to drag him towards the wanted posters. Um, the guard puts up a bit of a fight, but she does drag him towards and points to the picture of the airbender. Look, it's him. Look. Guard looks at the incredibly terrible drawing of the airbender, which, as we discussed last episode, is bald and has no beard at all. It's just like completely bald, looks like a child, and then looks back at Al, looks back at the poster and goes, If you waste my time like this again, I'm going to have your access privileges revoked and you'll be sent back to Fire Nation Homeland. No, it's really him. He's an airbender. He uh, airbended. Uh Come on, Shah, calm down. Let's let's take you back upstairs. You can lie down. We can talk about this. We can talk about this later. The the guard the guard points at the tattoos on the poster and points at Al. I don't see any tattoos. He's got them I'm covered wearing up. Airbender clothing. <laughs> That's enough. If you waste my time like this again, children, get out of here. Pushes her away. I'll find someone who will listen to me then, and she goes to run away. Al? Which, which, which direction is she running? Into the camp. The guard just sort of lets her go and goes, oh, I swear to, swear to the fire lord, this is, I am not paid enough for this. Babysitting children. Oh. Are we, are we close enough that I can, like, is there anywhere I could, like, cut her off and take her somewhere private? Cut her off and take her somewhere private. Oh, or in the desert. <laughs> I mean, is you it a can... completely open area, or is it like... No, there's tents all around. You, you, yeah, you can run and try and, like, tackle her into a tent or, like, pull her behind a tent. Yeah, totally, you could. Yeah, absolutely. And with your airbending, you can run a bit faster. Yeah, Kushka. Play the whistle. <laughs> Even when I don't play a bard, I'm still a bard. A bad bard. Um... Bard to the bone. Um... I, just, I was just like, does Al want some gas for that light he's doing right now? <laughs> I know, absolutely. What I mean, the gas lighting is insane. <laughs> oh, honey, come on now. <laughs> oh, silly. Your head, sweetie. What a silly woman. 
<laughs> also, the moment of the baby. Think someone wants a criminal. <laughs> oh, silly woman. <laughs> Um, do, I, do I look like an airbender? I'm not even wearing airbending clothes. How could I be an airbender? <laughs> Silly woman. <laughs> I, I, I thought that was very avatar. Okay, no. <laughs> um, no, so is the only way back up to the others the Makes stairs sense. from down the camp? Yep. Is there make, somewhere near the stairs that I can hide out of sight by keeping an eye on who's going up and down the stairs? Um, as in like down the bottom or do you want to try and Head up the stairs and hide somewhere like midway up or at the top. Uh, it I I'm from my, from what I'm imagining, it's pretty hard to hide halfway up or down the stairs, right? Well, it's the stairs pretty, have been carved into the side of the C1 rock, so there are still sections where you could duck behind outcroppings of rock and be slightly out of the way. Okay, yeah, I'll just find a nice spot to 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 tunnel in if if he thinks he can hide better in the middle or at the bottom, um, based on what he's he's looking at. Or can I assess the situation? Yeah, absolutely. Of course you can. Yeah. Okay, let's push my luck again. Come on, another 12. No, 8. Um, so is that one question? You can ask me a question, yep. Okay. Um, ambush is less of my priority. The main priority is to be out of sight yep. and give a warning to the others if I need to. Yep. Which midway of the stairs or at the bottom would be a better place to kind of no, conceal of myself stairs. properly top of the stairs if you wanted to conceal yourself to see anyone coming up the stairs top of the stairs is best you've got the height advantage you can see part way through the camp and there's much more uh, rocky outcroppings to hide behind in areas where they've been mining top of the stairs is a safer yeah. spot and it gets you access to the, the party much quicker okay um in case anyone's watching i'll limps up the stairs and <laughs> nice. and, and uh mine is a yeah, and hides, yep. In that case, we'll jump back. We'll, we'll leave you for the moment, Arlaji, as you get into position and start hiding. We're going to jump back to uh, Rung at this point. Rung, you've been reading through that book on uh, interesting rocks, strata, things like that. Um, you've reached sort of the end of the bit because I think you finished last session. What you were looking up specifically your town's area, your coal, the coal that comes from your town and your area. Um, yeah, I mean, it's high quality coal. You knew that. Confirmed. Not much else to learn from this book at this point. Oh, perfect, sweet. Well, I'm glad I affirmed what everyone <laughs> already knew about the coal, and that's why all the things that run on this coal are amazing. It's never hurt a single person in their life, and everyone can breathe it deep because it's oh, it's good, clean coal for my town. Anyway, the camera the well, camera zooms out from Rung and reveals no one around him. One of the Fire Nation guards at the edge of frame so turns and goes, "Who are you talking to?" <laughs> what was I was I speaking aloud? Sorry, I sometimes just think about minerals. He begins edging anyway, his way sideways okay. out of shot. <laughs> anyway, <have> you... <laughs> it's like, no, seriously, coal is the future. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, not trying to convert more people to coal. Um, I put the book back and I look towards. Um, you look see towards Marco's still old... talking to Cole, yeah. the old man. Okay. Yep. That's what I was thinking about, Cole. Yep. yep. I look towards Cole and I go, oh, Cole, this is a really good book. I particularly like the parts around Cole, actually. It's my best parts. Did you have a hand writing this book or anything along those lines? Uh, Marco, you've been chatting with the old man about the ocean spirits. The phenomenon that's been observed in the desert. These aquatic spiritual life forms. Rung literally just walks up, puts a book on the table, goes, did, did you write this? Is this is this your early work? And looks at Cole. Um, Cole sort of in the middle of talking about this like deeply spiritual thing sort of goes, uh, sorry, what, what, um, no, 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 no. I, I, I brought this with me from the, uh, I brought Sing and say. I, mm. I thought you went with the Damn others. Damn good book. What are you guys talking about? Um, I, I thought some you of went that. with the others to, went to create fire. Fire? Nah, I'm learning, I'm learning to make sure that fire's made oh. from coal. Yeah, no, no, nothing about fire, fire. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, think I, felt, I felt some heat behind me for a little bit, but I don't care what's going on. Also, um, just turn the light on for a bit. We've been talking about spirit fish. Spirit, still going on about the spirit fish, eh? Yeah, still, still got the spirit fish. Got a, got a, got a any new developments? On any new developments uh, for that? Like, have you tried hooks? Um, lures? Water bend. Water benders apparently help. Water benders. Mm. Did the I look at That's you and? We don't know any. You and Comb like, do the spirit fish eat water benders? The, the, no. They debate. Wait. Do no, they? Okay. Good. Maybe. 
look at Cole really sternly. Like... <laughs> I, I think they catch them. I don't think they. I don't think they uh, eat them. I think they catch them. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Sweet. All right. Well, that'd be uh, hard to find anyway. Yes, I mean we could. Uh, yes, I mean we could try and try and locate a waterbender if you think that would help. Like if you put them on a big stick out there in the desert. Like put would... a waterbender on a big stick out of the desert. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it'd be Tie dry, to so it, they'd or... literally just dehydrate because they're watery people or something. So there'd be no issue really to stop them, like to run away. Like they'd just be free bait um, to lure things in. Just my deductions. I, I think, wasn't in the book I was reading, but I think just a uh, myself and Cole work on this. Uh, you can be an outsource. Mm. I can be a consultant, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Any yeah, mineralogical yeah, yeah. things that I need to be doing here? Um, yes, actually. Mm. How I'm easy is. Do you th would it be for you to destroy this wall over here, per se? And I point wall. to the, like, the paper thin wall, like, just goes on. I, I go to the paper thin wall and just, like, touch it. Uh, DM, is that going to be super easy to do, Owen? Like, if I can just sort of, like, get a feeling of it and, like, mm, feel the. Sounds like an assessor situation question. There he is. It does, doesn't it? Let me assess the situation using my brains with Just my skills. Well, I had the wrong uh, stream title up, sorry. Don't fix that. Thank you, everybody, for letting me know. Wait, we're going to assess the problem. The problem. <laughs> assess the oh, there he is. Yep, assess the situation. Dun, 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 dun. Submit. Submit. Huzzah! 12 for success. Uh, yeah, wrong. This is going to be fairly easy to collapse. Not going to require much this... effort at all. Oh, perfect. This thing here, one click of my fingers, bing, bang, boom. How big do you want the hole? Um, big hole, little hole. So whole thing gone. Whole thing. That's what Cole and I are thinking. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. I think yes, I, I think the only way we're going to prevent further excavation is to perhaps this old section of tunnels. Yes. What now? Well, about, like my foot's raised, uh, like I'm about to like I, I think down. I think probably not when there are guards about. If we Maybe distract the guards so they don't I think see us we doing wait. this. I think we wait. Maybe All right. wait for some sort of distraction. Or organize a okay, distraction. Yeah. This will be a pretty good distraction, so when this whole thing goes down, it's gonna it's gonna be some rubble everywhere. And keep an eye out for anything really interesting inside. I'm sure this thing's gonna be packed full of good minerals. Yes. Or not. Maybe just run. Just, just, Maybe. Just, I, just yes, run. I was planning on running, but if you want to have a closer. Please don't yeah, hold I, I think we should also let the others know what we're planning before we do it, and then we get yelled at by them. Yeah, they, they need to see how cool this is going to look. Yeah, they do. Anyway, You're right. Mm -hmm. So I guess the idea is we do <laughs> to make sure no one can hear us, and the <laughs> <laughs> comes down. Um, yep. Then we stop them from going <laughs> to the big <laughs> essentially, yep. is what we're sort of talking about here. I'm yes. going to be honest, I caught maybe. Uh, 20% of what you were saying there. Don't worry about uh, it. Just, just agree. We don't just agree, and it will all be fine. Do I just right, not? Yep. Yes. Yeah, that yeah, you just that I'm, I'm with you. sounds like a good plan. <laughs> well done. Always. Always good plan. <laughs> well done. I'm glad we're he looks back at market. Is, is that the encouragement he needs? Yes. Yeah, that one. That was fine. Well That's done. Sorry, well well done, Run. <laughs> You're doing great. I'll <laughs> I take this. Honestly, you think this would be bad. I love this. This is good. Honestly, I'm glad I can be a part of something bigger. So happy. Look at his little face. That's <laughs> yes, amazing. Don't worry. A bit of coal there. <laughs> it's like scratching do we have a badge we could give him? Maybe some like joke badge of authority to oh, make him do, feel do you important. Have, like, a is there some? Like a... Could we create something? To... Oh, I search my pockets for anything. Just something like, like, how has no one thought to just give him some like badge of... Some some badge that makes him feel important. Some he gives him some love, authority. I would love. I don't have a badge. I'd love to have a badge. I mean, if you got anything, you bring it. Like a chief super is something I love to have. I um, will name, make separate, you chief super a badge. Looks <laughs> back to Marco. Is that right? Yes, you're doing great. All right, thank you, Marco. You did well brilliant <laughs> I, I haven't spent a lot of time outside the university is this what most people are like outside the university um yes no that's just this one you get the sense that cole's a bit of an elitist <laughs> a little bit of an arsehole not not deliberately a little, just bit, little, little bit. bit of an arsehole not 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 intentionally but he is um all right let's jump over to let's jump over to uh oki and sherva um you guys are still with the two the two jareds jared and jared um 
Yeah, Charles been a while. Charles and Arl have been a bit, a bit of time going and picking up the, uh, the refined uh, magnetite, the refined magnetic ore. Jared and Jared is getting a bit bored. They're sort of like kicking rocks off the side of the, uh, the seawall rock sections of gravel, kicking it off and sort of looking around for more slime and getting a bit bored. Hey, Jared and Jared, you don't think they're off doing you know what, are they? Like, they've been longer than it should be for this, you know, to go get some more raw. <laughs> they did seem to really like each other. The two Jareds look at each other and look at you two and then look back at each other and go, no, maybe. No, she would. I think she would. Oh my God. They're totally doing it. <laughs> <laughs> How many more of those fire uh, fireworks do we have? <laughs> we can find them, set it off behind them. Literally, as you're saying that, like... Jared lets off the last firework as it goes up. He goes, oh, ah. <laughs> sorry. I, I just really so cool. <laughs> Sorry about that. Do you want to go shit, set some shit on fire? Oh, I'm actually getting a bit hungry. Is it? I have some lunch. <laughs> <laughs> if they, I mean, who knows how long they're going to be, right? They could be a couple of hours. Yeah, okay, well, you you can go have lunch, I guess. I'm, I'm going to go start setting shit on fire. <laughs> Jarrod, Jarrod, Jarrod. What vials does she have? Now You've only got about three mine. left. You were, you set off a few of the burn mines. Um, you've got <laughs> three left. Uh, as as you sort of turn to, to sort of walk towards Sherva, um, Sherva, you see Jared and Jaron sort of turn towards other, and Jared goes like, I fucking said, fucking said, the dude that comes along that's not you or I, she thinks we're, she doesn't think we're cool. Oh. Just, I thought I had a bit of a chance. There. No, man. Batting. Absolutely batting. <sighs> really? Yeah. Everyone knows you're the ugly twin. Ah, oh, shut up! <laughs> um, thank you, Tim. Heading down toward... They, they head back up onto the platform. Uh, uh, Rung and uh, Marco would see... At this point, as you guys are talking, you would see the two Jareds come out. Um, Jarod punching Jared. Playfully, but escalating a little bit as they start punching each other back and heading towards uh, their packs to pull out some matches. Oki and Sherva. For the moment, you two are actually alone. So, do we make more of this stuff, or do we run and hide? <laughs> what do you think, Sherva? I don't know. I I just have this feeling that the second I'm not in the same room as Mako, he's out of here. He's just got. But you're not in the same room as him right now. I thought you we were. Are we like in complete no, separate he's... rooms? On? You can't see he's him. Over there. He's out of sight. Oh, okay, I can't see him. Okay. Well, I need to go check on him because he's got this weird obsession with those spirit fish, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so concerned that he's just going to leg it and I'm not going to be able to find him. He's going to run <laughs> off into the desert and die. <laughs> I mean, on the other side, we have a sand ship, so we have a small chance of being able to find him. Small. Should Very he, small. Should he run up into the desert to die? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm coming with you. I'm not going to be left alone here with the Jareds and God knows what else. Yeah. <laughs> Although, which one do you think's hotter? Sorry, do not let me interrupt. You keep going. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Go. No, no, no. Go. No, no. Absolutely. I, I, which one do you think is the hot twin? No, no. Please. This is great, RP. I'm really sorry. Jared. I'm really sorry I interrupted this. Please. Are, are, they, are they like completely identical? Like they. Yeah. But they're wearing their clothes mirrored, so the jacket is asymmetric. It buttons up on one side of the body, and so they're, they're mirrors of each other. Club. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I'll, I'll. One of the things I'll did for assess the situation was to see if it, if they're being cool or if it's a bit like. Um, I'll, I think, roll like a four. So he thinks it's really cool. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he thinks they they look really cool, but um, I'll let you know right now. Um, it's it's a it's a bit much. Like we know you're twins. We know you look the same. Fucking get over it. 
It's your entire personality. Jeez. I'm so so oh. when I when I speak to the characters in voice actors, I speak as their subconscious. So for Al, for example, it's like, wow, yeah, they look really cool. And then for like Sherva, it's like, we know you're fucking twins. Get over it. <laughs> so I try and speak as the character's <laughs> subconscious as best I can, so that you hear what your character would hear their like brain saying. <laughs> and that's why sometimes oh, as a listener. Oh, you first, I'm kind of digging Jared with the O. He's got a nicer voice. He's a bit quieter as well, isn't he? I like that in a guy. Well, they're not fucking loud and talking your ear off all the time. That's why I can't stand Marco. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, out, of, out of all of you, though, Marco would be one of the quietest. I know. <laughs> I do find that quite ironic. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy that. I was trying to think of which one of the guys talks the least. <laughs> no, I, I think I have to agree with you. I think talking to Jared, like, five more minutes and I probably would have thrown the Bergamite at him. Calling it the Ber funny. Bergamite. What's What's it called? <laughs> Because it's, it's a joke. It's, on, it's a joke on the thermite, thermite, so it's it's bermite. It's just ber bermite. So it's, I just oh. literally. <laughs> We're also gonna throw burgers at him. So yeah, yeah, yeah. bergamite. Were we eating food like that? <laughs> Wait, I think I don't know where that came from. Burgers are better than uh, explosive jacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh... <laughs> Never mind. Oh, and on Saturday you'll find out what <laughs> where the name came from. Oh no. What do you mean? <laughs> Bergamot. Oh, is that a Pokemon? <laughs> Berg Bergamot. No. I've been, no. I've been I'm sorry, everybody. We're pausing our stream for two seconds because Bergamot is the. It is. It's a fucking Pokemon. It is a fucking Pokemon. Okay. Oh my god. It's amazing. All right, I'm bringing this up on stream only really, because it's super cute. <laughs> I feel like oh, they're well. just starting to phone it in with some things. The like. Come on, I'll take <laughs> There is a lot of Pokemon that is literally a set of keys. <laughs> there you go. There you this go. Is I've, 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 for those of you who are watching the stream and on uh, on YouTube, that's uh, that's Pokemon. He's actually pretty cute. I fucking want one. Oh my god, he is cute. He's really cute. Oh, he's actually a burger. There's um. I was expecting a burger. There's this that's fan art, which is also iceberg. this is a bit. This one's a bit more um. Yep, that makes sense. This, this one's a bit more fun as well, actually. Sorry, I'm sorry for those of you who came to watch. Uh, <laughs> look at this picture. He's got like a little blush. <laughs> Are you, are you weird? Oh, he's shy. <laughs> Sorry if you came to <laughs> listen to Avatar Legends. Apparently, we're just talking about stupid Pokemon. I'm sorry, we're back to Avatar Legends. I just didn't believe that. For a uh, genius Pokemon names. Sorry, sorry, genius Pokemon names. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we, sorry, we last left off as you guys were discussing which of the Jareds is slightly sexy. Hmm. Bergamite. Yeah, Bergamite. definitely Bergamite. <laughs> You could say it's the hottest thing around. Oh, fuck me, that's it. No, Ali's kicks. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Ali. She's Bye. muted. <laughs> Sorry. Nah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So you you two having a bit of a chat about having a bit of boy talk. Um. As you as you're having your chat, Jarod walks back around the corner. You would give this to us. And sees you two like chatting, and then as you both look at. <laughs> guys talking about? None. What are you talking about? Oh, this compound is. Cool. I just wanted to know if you wanted any lunch. Probably get some, some food in camps if you're hungry. Didn't quite catch that. Oh, I can, that, can go get you some lunch uh, if you're hungry. You can get it from down at the camps. Um, yeah, I just need to go check on the other room first. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. No doubt, no cool, doubt. Cool, cool, cool. No, 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 no. We might meet you down there. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> he looks oh, away. God. That was so bad. <laughs> That's right, he's not cool. He's a fucking nerd. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> not a nerd, that's a fucking loser. Exactly. <laughs> And now I've ruined him in your minds forever. <laughs> yeah. As if he wasn't already. <laughs> um, so you two head back around the corner. Um, you guys see Marco and Cole and Rung. Um, Marco, Cole, Rung, Sherva, Oki. 
as you guys are standing there talking, you see Ung, sorry, Al, sorry, not Ung, uh, you see Al hobble up the steps and then crouch behind a section of rock in full view of you guys and then begin looking down the stairs. <laughs> Intently, just like, yeah. did, did, did he Going hit the on, buddy. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, look at his eyes. Hey guys. He sort of look, grab him like by like the chin and just like look deep into his eyes. Like, who you doing drugs? <laughs> <laughs> I walk over to him you? and I crouch down Baby. next to him. I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? I think this lady's been making him do drugs. Come on, so, drug like, me what you did. We were walking down the stairs, and then we fell like on top of each other. And uh, oh. Yeah, um, oh, 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 Say Rung less. Falls back, Rung falls back into Marco. Like, Whoa. That's okay, buddy. I got you. You still might be too hot. <laughs> okay, uh, she, she, figured, she figured out who we are. Um, Your what up? Uh, that we're the no. more wanted. Stop. She figured, stop. Stop. She figured stop. Out that stop. stop. Wait, is Jared with him? No, no but there are there are Cole is literally <laughs> standing right there with you guys. Oh. As you say, yeah, I figured, here we are. Cole, Cole looks at you guys and goes, what, 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 is this students, a private conversation? Students. Do you need me to No are you, students, oh, I know okay. who you are. Oh, she figured out that we were like higher academics than her. Uh, Cole. Let's just uh get to the point here. Do you want this place to be destroyed one way or another? <laughs> I never thought of myself as joining any cool terrorist cell, but it sounds a bit exciting, doesn't it? Okay, yeah. I'm in. <laughs> right on. Glad to oh, hear it. Right on. Wait. 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 It's all right. You, 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 she's, yeah. Did I miss something? Uh, what are we? What are we blowing up? No. Uh, your, your, your friend, your bald friend, said it. They figured out who you are. You're eco terrorists. You're here to disrupt yes, the Fire Nation yes. mining operation. Yes, yes, oh, okay. we are. Yes. Yes, yes. Mm. I mean, yeah. Do you have any more of this bermite? <laughs> what, what? What is What's it? Bermite. You, you've invented this. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh. She's actually like assuming that like <laughs> everyone knows about this, and she's like, you invented this. Well, well, you know, right? So, have you, how have you not tried this yet? By the way, how long have you been here for? But. You know, like what? you mix a bit of this, mix a bit of this in with a bit of this, shake it up, and then light it on fire. Why Why would I touch the secretions of the buzzard hornet wasps? You know that is their feet. To see if it's right? flammable. Yes, to see if it's flammable. This sounds, I, was, I go to everyone why like, turn away. Why test <laughs> everything that you don't know? This is concerning. How you analyze it? I'm, I, look, I'm not a member of the Fire Nation. I don't just set everything I come across on fire to see what happens. Wait, that's that's sure you want to know what the properties confessed. of it are. Wait, that's you not normal. You want to know the boiling point and the melting point and the... It's shit! It and do... point. It's just feces. It's feces. I, I don't understand why you're talking as if this is something but obvious. But it doesn't right? look like regular feces. Cole's so? got a point here. I'm kind of with Cole a little bit now. I think okay, the fact okay. that I come here is not like okay. shit on fire, literally, and blowing stuff up is concerning. This is <laughs> behaviour we should definitely keep an eye on. How about we just group. get back to the main point here? <laughs> Just rewind a little bit. <laughs> the guards are having overheard Cole get quite animated about setting feces on fire have backed away even further. <laughs> <laughs> perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> so, um, so, we're going to mine out this cave a little bit more. Um, then we're going to have to run away really fast. Yes, very, very fast. Should we get, fast. Should we get the ship nearby? Yes. Um, now the problem is, um, our friend here, and I point to Rung, is gonna Rung need to do the, the, the mining bit, but he also is needed for the ship bit, so we have a problem there. Ah! Mm. And then we had some explosive device. Well, I was thinking we use that mm. for, uh, you know how they're, ref um, refining and making those discs? Yes. We throw some of that in there. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> Let the wood burn between them. Um, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you know right now. I, I mean, I have tested the properties. Of um, when they refine it, they heat it to 1,000 Celsius. I'm gonna tell you right now, once it's been refined, it's, it's a very strong metal. It's not going to explode uh, yeah, or burn. No, it's, yeah. it's more to make them touch opposite ends. Hmm. 
mm. all the same. You know, he mentioned it's that they were separated by wood. So yes. if the wood yeah. burns away, it's going to be. Well, then they'll be stuck together, won't they? And yeah, then they come over. And then create a bomb. What? It'd be a no. big, heavy, heavy ball of metal. Yes, well, I got right. They wouldn't be able to transport it. They'd all be stuck together. That's brilliant. Yes. Hmm. yes. So I've got three, so we can either go so, all of them. How many bombs can we make? <laughs> and does anyone have any feelings? <laughs> I have yes. any ones. turning. Feelings. If you have feelings and you're near the big <laughs> magnet, it's going to rip it right out of you. Don't mind. No worries. Like an Oreo? Feelings. <laughs> like an Oreo? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Roger, take me off chair. That's how upset I am. <laughs> Sherva is walk fuck boy. Um. We have same thing that happened. I'm hungry. <laughs> Oh, is, the mic, is the mic still cutting out? Is it still? It's only when you do the quieter now. voices, like, no, like when you do like the really, really quiet ones, oh. like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll just, I'll just be a bit, just be a little bit closer. How's that? Oh, yes. Is that better? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. It feels oh, really oh. into oh, it. Yes, uh, <clears throat> um, it's time for some yeah. ASMR. So, so Welcome to like... the lost ASMR archives. Just... <laughs> 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 How I, I do think I need to create a sister channel called the Lost ASMR archives, just to, just to hold that name so no one can take it. <laughs> Not that I'm ever going to use it, but... Just, just so it's there. Get one of those microphones with the ears on each side of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then I can oh, no. pour my pour my bubble tea into the ears. <laughs> so so how, how quickly can you make the bombs? Well, oh, I, I just need the materials. Different. Um. Well, if, if one of you guys can go collect the, the group and Rung, if you can get me some more of the rocks, we can... Start dissolving. Cool. But otherwise, cool. I've got these three already made up. We may have set some of them on fire already. Cole How points towards Cole points here? towards the workbench and goes, "Oh, I, I am actually a bit low on the metal dust. Obviously, I've been collecting and refining it for quite some time. I, it might take me a while to get Still as cutting much out as, just a bit. Cutting out there. Oh, sorry. How's that now? Yeah. Better. Better. Yeah. Much better. Yes. Um. I, I, I don't I don't have as much of the metal dust left. I've I've kind of used most of it. Well, you've used most of it already. It takes a while to, to create. Cat on the stream, everybody. Cat on the stream. Cat on the stream. I sorry, she's being really needy. It's okay. Sorry, my my pup my pup at some point in the night's gonna come. Want to be cuddled as well? Don't worry. Cora's already passed out. Thank God. <laughs> yes, I I, I mean. I'm, I, I'm a bit low on the on the metal dust. It might take me a couple of weeks to make some more. I feel like we don't have that time. Is that correct? Obviously, you don't want to be discovered yeah. as a, as eco terrorists. Yeah, yeah. I mean, preferably tonight would be a good time. Oh, that seems very fair. Mm. Um, so, how big were these uh, explosions that you made with one? Not so much giant as more really, really, really hot. So I think if, if you, we could probably use one on the tent and just try and catch, oh, she's, she's also whispering this so that guards can't hear, but yeah, yeah, she's yeah. like, if, if, we can, if we can try and get it inside the tent near one of, uh, like a little bit of wood so that it catches the entire tent and all the wood inside it, then we have two left that we can use to try and collapse the wall. Um, alternatively, if we get Rung to go get the ship, bring it back closer to us, somewhere, you know, where we can have it close, and then Rung can come back and collapse that wall, then we use all three bombs to light the, um, the storage. Yes, I think, I, I agree, I think if we can have, um, maybe if we could have one bomb to help collapse the top, use two the storage. We only need to get a fire going. Maybe we only need one bomb for the storage. Yeah. Could Sounds be, better. Could be enough. I can definitely hear you. Where do I move the the boat? Does it go near the tent? Near here? Near so here. I don't think they want me sort of bringing the 
the bow at yeah. uh, in well, town. We... I'm not too sure if that's cool. No, <gasps> oh, we can probably just try and lob it. Also, but... quick question. How fast were their tanks? How fast were their tanks? Oh, you mean the iron class. Um, yeah. They can go pretty fast, uh, as fast as a sand ship, uh, if it doesn't have the wind behind it. Hmm. Oh, it'll have the wind behind it. I'd better have the wind behind no. it. Oh, yeah. The gods, the, <laughs> you sound the gods so sure. will be with us today. We are I wish I, wish I had your confidence. We're, sh- we're sure our, our acts of kindness to Mother Nature will be beneficial to us. Uh, I yeah, feel it yeah, in my bones. Mm, I have a <laughs> suspicion. Oh, great. Well, fantastic. I'll, I'll well, still that's, watch that's the stairs, games. by the way. Oh, I'll still watching the stairs. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, then. Let's make the preparations. Let's see if we can get the boat a bit closer first. So, should we, should we like, go, warn yeah. Jared's not to be too close to the rock when it explodes? Nah, that loses. No. <laughs> I think we'll try to make cool. sure that we'll aim for a spot where there isn't any humans, including the Jareds, or any wayward guards, or anyone. We don't uh, want to push anyone up in the Cole, blast. Cole, Cole when sure. is, uh, when's dinner time? Because I understand that everyone's probably going to go to a big mess hall at some point and uh, oh, well, it's talk about company about, food. Around about lunchtime now, so it's uh, probably going to be... Um... Oh, yeah, I think wait. the Jareds just left yeah, for lunch, actually. Lunch. Oh, we can't yeah. wait that long, then. We should probably do it now. Yeah, let's just do it now. <laughs> we can't wait we that just... long. What if we did it at night when it's a bit quieter? Uh, the thing um, is, Sha is already telling people. Uh, yeah. Don't live with it for now. They didn't believe her because, like, they didn't believe her, and um, <laughs> so There's it's a only a matter though. of time till someone does. What? Sorry, no story. No, nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Um, I won't. It's not polite to kiss and tell. I agree. Anyway. Maybe we should get a move on now. Uh, did you need much time again, was it? I can go get the boat, Boat, bring it here. The quenchiest. It, it'll be hard to bring the boat over here without someone seeing. Or like, will. pulling him over and asking him why he's bringing a boat here. Yes, that might be a little difficult to explain. It will. It'll be very difficult, you're, you're right. Um... Do we set off the bomb in the tent first, then do this? Or Can distracted? we still a tank? I don't know how to drive one. Cole, do you know sorry. how to drive one? No, I'm very sorry. Not, not my area of expertise. Well, Cole, I know do you, do you Cole. trust anyone here? I trust you lot. Oh, yeah. Yo, who's, who's, <laughs> we're eco people. <laughs> and, 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 anyone hey, else? <laughs> The people here must have been pretty terrible, not to not to make light of the situation, but we've been very recently friends, acquaintances now, and the fact you trust us this much means these guys have been utterly shit to you this entire time. I've been a bit been a bit isolated here. It's, uh, I mean, obviously the the younger students treat me well because I'm an older student. You know, you know how it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, um, fuck him. I use the word P as well. <laughs> yes, as the young it. folks say, let's puck them. <laughs> let's puck them. <laughs> Less things to bleep. <laughs> so, Owen, just a quick, like, lay of the land kind of thing. Is it sort of like there's the rock where we are, then there are the stairs that go down to, like, the main camp area? Is the storage tent within throwing distance of the top of the stairs? Oh, sorry. Is is the storage tent within throwing distance of the top of the stairs? Is that the question? Yeah, as in, could we stick a fuse in the um, thermite and then lob it from the top of the stairs, set off the rock, and just fucking leg it? That is a good question. Um, it depends how far you can Technically, yes. I would say it is just within range. Even if it was, what if it was boosted by an airbender? Well, that would help. Relying yeah, on his would, skills and training. Yeah, that would help a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who has practiced throwing cream pies, having been trained by monkey ass. Um, in that case, yes, mm-hmm. I think that airbender would be a bit more successful. Yep. 
Oh, your mic's still dropping out just in touch with it, by the way. Is it a bit better now? It What's going on with that? Your gate might be set really high or something. Minus 25 decibels. It's about normal. Yeah, it just cuts out the lower bits, but it sounds good now when you're talking. Is that a bit better now? How's that? That's a bit quieter. That's really quieter. Really quieter. How's that? A little bit better now? That's cool. Do-do-do. A bit louder? A bit louder? Okay, what if I put it down there? Am I still okay there? Yep. Yeah, you're good. Okay, done. All right, I'll stick with this then. I'll just... Does it sound okay? Don't know what's going on with my mic. Who knows? As long as that sounds all right. As long as I still sound like my sexy self, we're still good to go. Yes. <laughs> yeah, about that. Oh, my. Like, she's having a good time. I wonder if I can do the, do the, oh, my. Did it go from ear to ear? Was it good? <laughs> no, not really. Oh, well, never mind. Um, when, you, when you did that, my Windows security is like virus and threat protection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I, I, Too hot I for the firewall to handle. What was that, sorry, Dave? I thought you were about to do Duffman and, and gyrate the uh, the microphone. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Duffman! Duffman! Yeah. Like that? Yeah, 100% like that. Perfect, yeah. great. Oh. Excellent. I'm pleased that we've uh, we've been able to um, to fill your dreams tonight, Dave. Um, that's excellent. Oh, you'll be fulfilling dreams. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Should I get back into character as Shah? Should we keep the no no? Um, so, uh, so the plan the plan is I understand it. Um, Al, you're going to be lobbing one of these bombs at the storage tents from the top of the, the top of the uh, Seagwong Rock where you guys are at. Rung, you're going to go and get the sand ship and try and bring it as close as you can through the tents. Is that right? Yeah, I'm gonna bring it like to the tents. We're gonna uh, do the thing you do. Is that the idea? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make another I'm gonna make another recommendation because you guys can see the lay of the land. If you were to bring the sand ship around the other side of the rock, so facing so you guys are at the north end of the rock, facing south, mm. the Fire Nation camp is on your right hand side. If you were to take the sand ship around to the left hand side, it would be a steep run down the side of the rock and a bit you have to split it'd be like you'd be tripping and falling a bit, but you could get out that side. Rather than going through the camp again, there is open desert. Nice. Okay, I think yeah, that's, that's what yeah. I was thinking. Like yeah. near yeah. where uh, they had like all the alcohol stashed and whatnot, yep, like yep, yep. on the east side that no one ever went. Yep. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I'll just say I'm just gonna bring some stuff up, so I'm just gonna drive around back. It's easy. It'll be fine. That's very straightforward. Yeah. And Sherva and Marco. Marco, I'm assuming you're firebending to uh, set off these bombs. Oki, you're gonna be placing these bombs. Sherva, what are you doing? I have no idea. What I have would you no like to do? Here. What, what would you like to do? Would the you only thing out? I'm good at is punching people. Okay. Do you like... want to just punch the Jareds then, just in principle? <laughs> kind of do, but they're at lunch. Um, I'm probably going. Are we taking Cole with us? I think so. I assume so at this point. I, I, I assume it's so. It's up to you. It's up to you guys. I don't. I've, I've got no say in this. It's up to you guys what you do with Cole. So he's like a small, frail man, right? No, he's he's in his fifties, um, but he is weathered, and it looks like he's not spent much time outdoors up until recently. So his skin, which was once pale, is now quite sunburned. Um, the sun has not been kind to his skin; it's a bit wrinkled, a bit sunburned. Um, he's got a bit of a balding patch on the top of his head that's uh, gotten a bit sunburnt as well. Dressed in sort of Earth Kingdom scholarly robes, these long, flowing, dark green robes that come around his shoulders and down to. They're not that old. Mid fifties, late fifties. Hmm. Okay. But to well... you guys as teenagers, yeah, he's fucking ancient. <laughs> <laughs> I will put this myself in charge of making sure that he gets to the boat. Then. Okay. That sounds. Do we like still a need this wall? Uh, knock it out. That's what the here. explosives are for. Mm. Okay, so I need my muscles anymore. Okay. Uh, but uh, okay. oh, we always need your muscles. Always need them. We need both. Yeah. Are you guys? Oh, um, should Sherpa oh, okay. go with Rung to like help him if he gets into trouble on the way? That sounds like the most risky part of the plan. It's up to you guys. You tell me. Uh, that, that's, what I'll, that's what I was saying to the others. I could take Cole yeah. down now. Yeah, actually, as long as as long as we get the old man out. Because that way you can use it as an excuse for, like, you're trying to pull a rock or something. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna help move something from the uh, yeah. the southern side. Is it of the the rock? Southern and northern. Uh, yeah, southern side's where we're off. gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The south side. Uh, yeah, south east is where you're headed. Awesome. Yeah, just gotta go to the the south side of the obelisk and. And we can say we're doing a job for from the old yeah. man. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he can come with like me that. and be like, hey, yeah, we just, he's going to guide it. They're going to drop them down. Easy. Yeah. No, we'll put him down there first, and then you and I will go and get the sand ship. Awesome. Perfect. That way we're going to him, and he's Why already out of harm's Everyone refers way. to me as old man. <laughs> Listen to you, Whoa. boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I mean, a bad a sign of respect, old man. Flies. If you've spent exactly. if you've spent your lifetime whispering in a library to prevent being yelled at by the archivists, your voice doesn't get a lot of practice. Hmm. Have you tried vocalizing your emotions? Like, have you just tried going ah! like more often? It's good for you. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh my ears! Oh, that was that was guttural. Really, is it manly? It like nails or some sort of black rock. Sorry, I thought there was a lion in here with that roar. Yeah. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> thank you, Rung. Thank, thank you, others. Thank you, thank you, Rung. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thanks, guys. No problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you both think you're as stupid as each other now. <laughs> I was like, this, this old man has never raised his voice before. God, what a terrible way to live. Poor guy. He needs some coal dust in him, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. Coal dust. Coal dust. I had a, a pipsqueak voice before I worked in the mines, but when I got the black lung. <laughs> now that I have three cancer. <laughs> what's, what's that? <laughs> never heard that before. Okay, anyway. so here's how I understand the plan. Rung, you're going to head off and get the sand ship. Sherva, did you want to go with him or fuck it? I'll go with Rung. You go with Rung. I need your 50 cuffs. Yeah. As the two of you, so we'll do you two first because you two have to leave first before anything else is done because it's going to take a bit of time to get the sand ship. Oh, yes. Before we do. Okay. Does that sound like a here's the plan? And if you were to say how creative you are, would you say you are one or two creative? Oh, my fucking God. (laughs) The metagaming right now. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I can no, be very do not, not do not answer with a number. Very creative, a little bit creative, but not at all creative. Much better. I wonder if he's asking, are you a poo creative or a pee creative? Is that what you're asking uh, right no, now? No, 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 no. Because I'm more creative than the average bear. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. But not the most creative. Thank you. Much yeah, better. Yeah, Opie is on that same boat. Like, it's not just neutral. It's like kind of above that, but like it's not like so bad. It's like it's awful. Okay, would you do, uh, here's the plan, if you want to, I, I don't know, should we? Because it could go wrong. It could go very wrong, but it could go oh, so right. Yeah, I think we should do it. If it goes wrong, it's kind of right. I think this absolutely no, sounds no, like here's the plan. This sounds like a here's the plan. One of, one of you roll. Uh, yes, quickly, <laughs> yes. um, what's Cole's plan during all of this? Cole's going to wait patiently and then follow uh, probably Oki and Marco. And, uh, and R to get to the airship, uh, to the sand ship. But he, I mean, he probably could come with you two now, stay on the sand ship. I think that might be What does idea. Cole want to do? Oh, I, I'd like to be as far away from danger as humanly possible, please. <laughs> <laughs> a true survivor. If yeah, I, if so I could be back ship. inside the walls of Bar Sing, say I would be right now. <laughs> well, if you stand too close to this, you might reach it that far. <laughs> so you, would say, you would say that Cole's plan is for our plan to go well. Yes. Yes. So could I roll? Yeah. <laughs> you missed something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tell which me about is it. when you evaluate a friendly NPC's plan to get yep. something done, you roll with focus. On a hit, the GM tells you how you can drastically improve your chances of success. <laughs> yes, I would say that he's so specifically the section <laughs> specifically the section he's assisting with is the where you want to plant the explosives and how to collapse the tunnel. That's that's his area. That's what he's providing for the plant because he's providing the location to place the explosives. Yes, absolutely sure. Of course you can. Okay. Man, this is like what a happens, Oceans movie. What happens on a miss just I out of interest? That. Um I've just put it in chat as well. So on a seven to nine the problems inherent in the plan are fairly serious. But the yep. NPC will be resistant to making changes necessary, and on a miss, something about the plan throws you for a loop. The GM tells you what obvious danger the NPC is ignoring or what they're hiding about their intent. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, that makes sense. 
Roll me sure. focus. Seven, mix success. Okay. Um, yeah. The only problem you notice with this plan is to do with your ward with Marco. The curvature of the tunnel to place these explosives will require Marco to be very, very close to them. Because it has to be placed inside and around the bend, Marco's going to have to be inside the tunnel, in the mouth, but inside the tunnel to set off these explosives. Please say there's a problem. I don't see a problem here. Neither do I. <laughs> I'm a rock rock. Okay. I <laughs> will stay with Marco. From uh, the Scooby-Doo movie. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Scoob? I'm a rock rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's Marco, he's a rock <laughs> I'm a rock <laughs> That's not a good thing, Scoob. Okay. <laughs> it just popped into my head. I don't know what to tell you. I think the Scooby Doo necromancer. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes, sometimes, Scooby Doo movie comes into my mind and I can't get it out. So now I'm going to be quoting it the rest of the session. I'm a necromancer. Things I never thought would have been in Scooby Doo. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sacrifice. I'm a rock <laughs> Oh, because <laughs> Marco, because Marco's about to be a sacrifice. That's that's the, oh, that's the connection. Because yeah. <laughs> that's why. Because that, like, that was Marco. That was burnt way back there. In yep. the brain. <laughs> I can like ping to the animation and everything now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's one of those things that never leaves you. Along with Rod Atkinson leaning and creepily going, "We love you, Scooby Doo," <laughs> with the eyebrows. <laughs> Sorry, no. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so Sherva, that is the obvious problem inherent with this plan. Um, okay, well, I mean, as his guardian, what can you I do? will choose to stay with Marco in the hopes that I can somehow assist with what but, he's doing. But, but he's a... Okay, fair enough. Rockrifice? <laughs> he's a rockrifice. A rockrifice. Okay, yes. so my whip is currently covered in... Yes. This is this flammable stuff. Yeah. With the burner. burner. Yeah. <laughs> nay, nay, burner. Nay. So, the, is there a way the, that we can set off the explosions by him lighting my whip and me whipping? If you want to be even explosions. closer to the explosions, then absolutely. Oh, I'd rather like do Indiana that than Mako die. Shit. What if, okay. we, what yeah. if we set He's out my guardian. He's, I'm his guardian. He's my no, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. We're going to lie it on the ground and we're just going to use it as a fuse. We could also do that, but we would have to cover the entire thing, so we will need more Burmite. It only currently has the tip covered. Don't you have oils that we normally set on fire? They're gone. Where did you think I would have replenished these oils from while we've been in the desert this entire time? You fucking wait, idiot! I'll be using it in wait, 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 wait. Fight at the very beginning of the campaign. I, I thought you used more, had more than one, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> I would have if we were able to go back to our things yeah, rather than running away yeah. or actually yeah, getting kidnapped. Is that, huh? no, we got kidnapped like, you, like fugitives, Marco. and now we're fugitives, and now I don't have anything with me. Now, so I, like I, think, I like to think this is happening in Cole, character. Like, Sherva's finally Cole, letting out the repressed anger of being made what they're like, saying. guilty of murder. Now, <laughs> <laughs> being framed for murder. We literally got dragged away in giant metal boxes. Where did you think I was hiding oil on me during that time? I thought you were always like two or With your hair dryer, obviously. <laughs> I don't like to use it often on my whip because it destroys it. So why don't you just carry two whips? What were you saying, Dave? Where? <laughs> that was that was Al telling Cole to be like, uh, yeah, you know what they're saying? They're they're just they're just mucking around, they're being silly. Yeah, what's, what's this it about? Epic, spectacular. It's about being captured and brought into the desert in a giant metal box. That sounds worrisome. No, they, were, they, were, they were talking about her, her cool whip. Her it's, cool, it's really cool, her whip. cool whip. What? Sorry, what? Yeah. What is cool? Yeah, I mean, whip. <laughs> Wait, what are you... Are you, say, you say trying cool. to say something here? Say, say cool whip. Say cool? Cool? Say whip. Whip. Say cool whip. Cool whip. <laughs> Something's happening when they join together. <laughs> I, love that. I, I like to think that that conversation's happening while they're arguing in the background. Cool, yeah, 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 cool, cool. 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 Whip. Cool whip, Brian. Cool whip. Cool whip, Brian. Uh, Dave, yes, quick question. Yes. Um, was the normal slime like did it spread or did it just stay in the one spot? I can't remember. 
the the fire well the fire so that like, smolders long but doesn't spread out very much um but I'm, I'm gonna save you guys a lot of grief there are lanterns up on the platform none of them are lit right now but <laughs> there are oil lanterns around <laughs> i described them earlier on <laughs> Nah. <laughs> oil. The and oil and oil and fire. Oh, yes. We could use the oil lamps to make a trail of oil. That'd save a bit of time. <laughs> We're geniuses. And that means that Maku doesn't have to sacrifice himself for the good of the rock. I was doing what? The day is saved. <laughs> exactly what? Do you want, you want to meet the fish, Marco? I thought you forgot to... that lanterns are a thing. <laughs> I, forgot, sorry. I thought you wanted to meet the fish, Marco. This is the quickest way. <laughs> Huh? I'm going to have a leave. We have <laughs> diminishing uh, morals on the Valley of Lives recently. <laughs> oh. Oh. Good. I'm sure that's something for worry about later. Much repressive for as long as possible. Wait, wait, wait. What are they being able to make? Hmm. Oh. Anyway, so I've got my non existent keys. I saw 12 in my finger for the bullet. Like, well, it's time to grab the quenchist. It's like a, yeah, bit, it's a like... bit of a bit of rope that ties the sail down when you when you got in a position and <laughs> spinning that around. <laughs> right, Shouldn't that be on the boat? boat? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> 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 yeah, the and a sandworm. Oh, <laughs> 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 the, the sail flapping in the wind without the tie. The sandworm hears the vibration. <laughs> Just it's in like the sandworm's mouth. Just see the flapping of it in the distance as it yeah. goes through the tunes. Quenchy. Oh. <laughs> Clutching my pearls. Um, um Oki, did you wanna did you wanna roll here's the plan? I, I used my twelve already, so Oh, okay, yeah, no, I'll give it a go. Um, you used your twelve. I think it's I, I rolled oh, a twelve. You only my... get one per session, eh? <laughs> 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 that's not that's not how probability works, but sure. He's got a hard sure code. Is. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Could you could you read out what happens on a failure, please, Oki, so that we can remind him? Do I have to? <laughs> yes, you do. Weird. Uh, Nothing. A miss. Hold one. But your plan encounters some disastrous opposition right from Sorry, the start. Sorry, what, what what type of op opposition? <laughs> Dangerous <laughs> opposition. That's, from that's the even very worse, start. though. You know that's worse. <laughs> Disastrous opposition, and did that say right from the start? It did, didn't it? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it also says hold one, but I don't know what that means. That's so uh, you can add a plus one to any roll. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, um, plus one. <laughs> so so uh, is it too too late for Al to give her the help action for that? Since he has he has the plan too. Okay. Uh, we've, before the roll. we've already gone up with the whip. Like, how we're gonna use the whip for a fuse, right? And put oil yeah. on it. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah? Yeah, cool. <laughs> okay, so what what, do you, what are you guys doing? So I think uh, Rung yeah. and Sherva are heading down towards the sand ship. Um, with coal. With coal. Yeah. You guys head down the stairs. Like, Cole's name's Cole, my name's Koal. I just realised that was the name I chose last session. So it's quite unfortunate for us both. Okay. <laughs> um, so Cole and clearly got a fake name, Koal, uh, head down the stairs along with Sherva. And as you guys head towards the camp, you can see there's a little bit of a commotion going on in the center of the camp. So you guys are currently at the back of a section of tents. So three rows of tents in circular motion towards the center. And then where the refineries are is towards the center of town. And then in a square, like a, almost like a town square that's been set up in the middle of these tents, you can see Shah um, angrily holding up one of the wanted posters and pointing at it and pointing up towards the rock and trying to talk to a number of people in the town. Um, I'm going to get Arl. Could you just roll me a D100, please? Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I'll can definitely roll a D100. We're doing a percentile dice roll. These are not part of the Avatar Legends. Um, do I want high or do I want low? What do I want? Uh, I'm not telling you. Oh, okay. I will tell you, and I'll tell you what. So, so the cutoffs are 25, 50, and 75. The closer you can get to 100, the better the outcome. Blood, okay. the blood god, corn for okay, the cornbread. Yeah. I pray to the lords of chaos. <laughs> I've got Mimi here. She's gonna pick for us. You're gonna, you're gonna have puppy. She's a puppy. puppy. <laughs> Mimi! <laughs> oh, that's a four on a D100 roll. Um, <laughs> I, in, my, in my head, in my head, in my head, Mimi looks at you and goes, Fuck the police. And then runs away. <laughs> Okay, Look at that sketch. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Heresy. <laughs> yeah, Fuck you, yeah. 
<laughs> you wouldn't feed me. You wouldn't feed me steak last night. Fuck you. Um. <laughs> you never share your delicious food. Uh, four. Um. Oh, yeah. Sure, um, it's not bad. Sherva and uh, Sherva and Rung, and um, Holt. It's not looking good. There's a lot of people gathering around now, and it looks like she's actually starting to whip up a mob who are oh, getting shit. together weapons and heading towards the sea wall. We better uh, move now. Down. Uh, do we have like a, a, a shoal of cook? Like a, you got your sandbender robes, which do have hoods that. to protect you from the sand. Oh. So you can pull them up. Yep. Hood up. And if there's any sort of like wrapping, like hair. <laughs> It's wrapped around. They don't know who I am. How will they know? I will let you two go ahead because you're the least suspicious looking. You look the most like a winter poster. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I turn around and I run back to warn the others. Yeah, cool, cool. Uh, Cole Cole sort of sees Sherva run away and sees the thing and goes, Oh, are they on to you? We should... Are you good at power walking, uh, Cole? We'll find out then, won't we? Good. A brisk jaunt if we can, come on. I sort of like squeeze, start like squeeze the gluteus maxima together and up we go. Uh, uh, he starts marching. Right, uh, right, uh, right. Ooh, so, ooh, uh, yeah, so. you guys begin marching through the tents over towards the left. As you get around the corner of the first tent, um literally as you come around the corner, uh you see a group of guards looking at the wanted posters as you come around the corner and <laughs> look at you and Cole. If you if you could please head back to your tents and find him. Apparently, some enemies of the Fire Nation have infiltrated this campsite. My enemies of the Fire Nation. Disgusting. I look over at Cole and look over them like. Cole is burn. sweating. He looks so, so anxious. So oh, hot. Oh, I, enemies of the Fire Nation. I, I, can't, I have never. I haven't seen any eco terrorists. What's an eco terrorist? This old. This old man. You're, you're, I put my hand in his forehead and like, oh my god, you're sweating. What have you been doing? Do you smell like... Ugh. Can you smell that? And I'll look over the guards and sniff my hand. Why are you sniffing? Like the, are you sniffing? Like? The buzzard wasp shit. Have you been... What have you been doing with it? Oh, I haven't been delirious. making bombs with it. Oh my gods! <laughs> I, have, I have some supplies I just need to get uh, from my sand ship. And I'll take him straight back. This man, he no, cannot no, walk. Son, his... son, <laughs> stop right there. Old man, come with us. <laughs> they put a hand on his shoulder and start leading him away. Stay right there. <laughs> Point to you. No, 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 you don't understand. I, 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 Two guards drag him off towards one of the tents um, and begin manacling his hands behind him. I, I, I'm standing there like sort of shocked, like at the tent, taking a note, quick mental map of You'll where the tent is. You'll never take me alive. Is. We literally have you in custody right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, yes, you do. Don't do anything. Do, well, this is democracy it, manifest. <laughs> wash the baby. buzzard poop off him as I'm like skulking away down the alleyway. I <laughs> just wanted to enjoy a succulent Earth Nation meal. He's being taken away. Um, <laughs> a succulent Chinese meal. <laughs> <laughs> I see you know your judo well. As they push him into a tent. Um, the two guards who are left with you rung. One of them turns towards you because uh, if you could head back to your tent, please, sir. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Yes, I'll be uh, there per se, but why I'm here is I just need to just duck there for a second. I'll be right back, uh, straight Sir. up to the tent. Sir, please head back to your tent. Right now. You, okay, saw what I'll... you saw what we did to the old man. You see these? Okay, fine. I'm not going to flash off my muscles. I'll go now. Yes, have a, have a wonderful day. Take care. Uh, do, 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 do. Which way do you go? Do you like, turn around and go back and uh, okay? Yeah, they won't let me go past them the other way, will they? So I have to turn uh, as, as you turn and start walking away, like, excuse me, where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry, I thought you didn't want me to go that way, because that's where they, I originally They step to aside go. and point to a series of tents behind them, which is the entrance to the campsite. Oh, that's where I was, that's where I was going. I thought you didn't want me to... It's hot. I had old man shit on my hand. Start walking past them. <laughs> oh, what, what, um, what, uh, <laughs> the other one puts a hand on his shoulder and goes, I don't think you want to know the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
flicking my hand off as I <laughs> walk. <laughs> they, they step aside, <laughs> move back, give you quite a large berth as you walk past. From inside like, the other tent, you hear, I, No, you, you don't understand. It, it's not quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, old man. <laughs> um, once I'm once I'm out of sight from those guys, there, yep. uh, I'm making my way it. as quickly as I can, keeping an eye out for any guards. Um, if I can, sort of do like you know the Marvel movies where Captain America sort of goes through crowds and all sort of stuff. And as soon as he's got his hat down, apparently he's invisible. Um, trying to do that as much as I can. <laughs> or when, um, or when he's kissing Scarlett Johansson. I'm sorry, but if you saw Scarlett Johansson, you are not, you're not, not looking at her. Come on, she's beautiful. <laughs> Surely she draws attention. <laughs> oh, okay. um, I thought that was the most re- unbelievable part of that whole movie. And there, were, I mean, there was a dude with a metal arm. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the Winter Soldier. Been frozen for sixty thing. years and spoke <laughs> Russian, but also didn't. And then I don't know. Um, the numbers, basically. Yeah. What do they mean? Um, but yeah, Rung, as, as you come around the last corner to where your sandship is, you bump into the female scribe um, who has been cataloguing and making notes and drawing a sketch of your sandship. And as you come around the corner, she goes, Oh, oh I, 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 I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Oh, I'm doing rather well. It's hot and just need to get some supplies for my ship and move it briefly. Uh, that's an interesting drawing you got there. You did really good line work. Did you study drawing or art? In Ooh. hey, Pledrian. Just see that pop up there. Um, I, I, Sorry. I, 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 I've been I've been tasked to, to, to take a ca- catalogue of all of the visitors to this to this site. Oh, really? Flipping well, back and shows a couple of other sand ships and uh, ironclads that have come through. Ooh, ooh, I like that one. Can you draw like that one on my ship? I, I believe the sails are magnificent, really, um, comparatively. Just if you can make that bigger, is that cool? Yes, the I, there. I can. I can. Yes, if, if you take the sail down, I could draw one of these on your, your ship. Yeah, you, that'd be okay. That's not an issue for you because I'm no, I just no, I start going there. So if you've got some t- t- time, down. I can absolutely. Yeah, you can take the sails down. Oh, honestly, that'd be uh, brilliant. I'll take the sail down for you right now. He's got uh, sail comes down. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, sweet, and like, well, the ropes are going to be moved out of the way there, because by the way, we've drawn the ropes there, that's not actually how it works on the, the ship like this, and as I Ooh. take off one of the other ropes Goodness. as well, like, it actually goes here, like that, Get to make sure to include that one in the drawing, super important, <clears throat> as I'm trying to guide her um, to draw so other you, things while I so, prepare the ship. <laughs> but, okay, so you've, ta- you've taken the sail down. <clears throat> Do you mean, in your mind, are you unfurling the sail or are you removing the sail from the ship? Oh, no, the, the sail is sort of being unfurled. Unfurled. Yeah, it's getting okay. to the point okay. now where I was going to say, because um, I saw some concerned faces like, and I felt the same way. I was like, are you actually taking the sail off the ship? <laughs> Do you have time for a, this? <laughs> I, I grew up in the desert. I'm not a boat man. Okay. Um, <laughs> as you... <laughs> As you start, yeah, starboard, I know, Starbucks. As you start unfurling the sail um, and getting it into position, she goes, oh, yes, that, that's fa- fa- fantastic. Um, she starts trying to sketch out the sail fully unfurled. What's the, 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 na- the name, name of your boat? I couldn't, couldn't quite read the c- c- carving. The, the c- c- <gasps> quen- 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 quench. Quen- oh, it's pronounced Quenchist. <laughs> Could you sp- sp- spell it? Quenchist. With l- letters. <laughs> okay. Qua. That's still, f- phone- that's still f- f- phonetic. Uh, uh, l- l- letters, like, does it start with a K? Is it C or a Q? Q? Oh, yeah. Uh, K. She writes down a K. W. W. E. I. N. T. S. Sorry, you went back to phonetics. Oh, did I? Yeah, yes. Okay. I got up to K. W. Yep. W. Yep. You've got time for this, Brandon. E. I. No, no. E. I. I. Yep. 
Ein... Ich weiß nicht, ja. Tch. C. C. Yep. C. Another C, yep. C. Another, another C. C. A. C. She, she holds up what, what, you've, what you've said so far and points because there's a lot more le le letters on this one than, than and she points at the boat uh, than on the boat and I'm oh, pretty I thought sure you that's want the, the, the registration of the name that's more like shorthand um, for the boat what? But either way we're pretty much there that, that's, that's fine my <laughs> <The> camera <laughs> one second <laughs> <laughs> she, she reaches down. She reaches down to her water bottle. He's gone. <laughs> His camera's gone. Um, she reaches down to a water bottle, takes a big sip, takes another big sip, reaches into her bag, pulls out a hip flask, takes a sip, puts it away. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm going to go, go have a s s sit down. Sounds bad. The, 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 thank, thank okay. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. When you publish it, let me know. I'm keen to see the drawings. I'm not. Water, watercolors. I'm, it's I'm not pub. Very well. <laughs> Turns the books away. <laughs> uh, at this point, Rung, um, you finish unfilling the cell, tack the ropes in, and then you're ready to take off. <laughs> He's Perfect. just like, it's like yeah. Captain, Captain Jack Sparrow, like, I am so suave, baby. <laughs> And just like Captain Jack Sparrow, you have left your crew marooned, and you are now going to be very late to pick them up. Um, I was I was timing how long that took. I think you're going to be surprised at how long that took you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sherva, Sherva, Oki, Marco, and Al. Um, <laughs> fuck you know. Uh, with the help from Cole, you know where to position. Um, you know where to position the jars full of burnite. Oki, I'm assuming you're involved in that. Yes. Um, she is as you position the jars, Sherva, I think uh, you said you were going to do the lantern oil to make a, a pathway of fire towards the uh, jars. I've just burst back in the door. Oh, that's right. So then it must be, be Arlo Marco then. Probably Marco in that case. Yeah, Marco is doing the oil. Apologies. Um, so yeah, Marco, you, you come through with the oil, position the oil. Arlo, I guess you're on lookout then at that point. What would you like to do? But, uh, sorry, you said Al, did you? Yes. What would Al like yep. to do? <clears throat> well, okay, so Al's waiting for the signal to um to throw the, the last bomb at the, oh, so, at the just center. at the right. ready. <laughs> just... No, 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 no. He, he's, he's watching for the signal. Okay. Um, so how close is the mob to the stairs? Uh, at this point, you guys haven't seen them yet. We've jumped back oh, in yeah. time. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll still kind of watching the stairs and holding the last bomb and just kind of like hiding behind the rock. Yep, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, keep me right on both directions, but mainly the stairs. I'll, as as Oki and Marco disappear around the corner to position the jars, you do see moving through the tents a group of about 20 Fire Nation, a mix of soldiers and craftsmen um, with Sar, uh, Shah right behind them, pointing furiously. And they come out from behind the tents and begin walking towards the base of the stairs. Wow. Um, and Shah's leading them. She's behind. She's at the back of the crowd. Okay. I don't know if what I'm going to do is controversial. Okay. Uh, or even PC. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you going to do? Okay. Um, Big tell. So I'll... I'll, so I see him the stairs. Yep. You see, it's like it's mm -hmm. you have the big rock. It's carved into the rock. That was a fun. It's place. almost like a big cliff down, right? <laughs> yeah. So and I the guess the stairs yeah, are carved into like, the side of the rock. Yeah. Okay. So Al is like a, next to the stairs. Yeah, next to the cliff. At the part. top, next to the stairs. Yeah. Yep. And and he's like, um, uh, Sha. I thought we were special. Uh, she points up and goes, there he is. And the rest of them go, oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> so you draw attention to yourself by shouting out. <laughs> and they now like pointing up, goes, don't move. Just stay right there, son. I'll jump. Try to me she left me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Roll. 
Can you roll me? I don't even know what you're gonna fucking roll me for that. Um, could you roll me <laughs> with creativity of some sort? Um, I'd say trick makes sense for that. Fuck you. <laughs> trick. Well, let's have a look. Really, please. you can jump and then cushion your fall. Yeah, like then... trick creativity. Yes, if you could please roll a trick, <laughs> I'd be much obliged. At this point, I'll 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 is literally just stalling for time as much as he yeah. can. I'll jump! <laughs> <That's enough. laughs> I wasn't expecting that ten for success. <laughs> one of one of the guards points up and goes, I know what a desperate man looks like, he'll do it! <laughs> <You're in> the- <laughs> do a backflip! <laughs> she made me feel things. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up, this book goes, Why are you stopping? Get him! I want my reward! And they're like, no, 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 don't do it! He could jump at any second. A broken heart can do strange things to a man. Son, there's so much to live for. We just want to talk. You're not in any trouble. Yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just... <laughs> What's in that jar? What have you been drinking? <laughs> it doesn't help. You're not gonna find your you're not gonna find your safety or your love at the bottom of a barrel, the bottom of a jar, mate. Put it down. <laughs> I've been there, it's rough. She told me she liked me. I didn't, I didn't tell him that. Shh, quiet, we're speaking for you. (laughs) Quiet, that young man up there's talking for you. Shh. (laughs) Shah, I know we only just met. Um, I do want to apologize if um, anyone does find this offensive. Um, By the way, just. What do you mean? I don't know. It's, yeah. What are you talking about? You've been, you've been... desperate. <laughs> He's a man on the edge. There's still a chance, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, by this point, Oki and Marco, you have put the jars in their positions. You've laid down the oil. You come out. You see Al standing on top of a rock over the edge of a cliff face, holding the jar aloft, shouting back down to a group of people shouting up to him. They have not seen you yet. Huh. Okay, Marco, do we, we do we just blow this and run? Are we going to wait for run? Are we, what are we going to do? Well, we, we, we can't just blow it up because then, like... Uh, let, have they stopped? Wait, why aren't they coming up? What, what's happening over there? I'm the only one up here. Shiver, shiver, <laughs> you, you've, you've run up and seen this unfold, just standing there, kind of in a bit of disbelief, just out of sight over the lip, <laughs> watching our... Uh, sort of proclaim these things. While this is going on, what do you want to do? Um, I'll go over to (laughs) Marco and help him start getting faster. And I'll be like, look, they know. They are all on their way here. They have weapons. She's with them. And we just need to go. We need to get going now. Like, can we speed this up anyway? What can I do? How can I help? Uh, we're all set here, I think. We just need our ride. It's on its a- way. We just need a way out. It's on its way, but we need to move this entire <laughs> process along so much faster. Um, is there a way for us to make sure they can't come up the stairs? Um, I'm tell cr- me. Didn't what would you, what would you do? have a have a bomb? Oh, yeah. He's holding it right now above his head, <laughs> waving it around. Hang on a sec. Let me just snipe this for a second. <laughs> um, cool, cool, cool. Okay, Some okay. more tense music on because I feel like. Uh... Do we have. I have no idea. I'm just winging this. I don't have any plan. Uh, Al. <laughs> As you're standing there, two of the guards come to the bottom of the stairs. Now, son, we are going to come up. You stay still now. We will come no, and get no, you, okay? No, stay right there. Stay right there. Russians. What are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? I'll jump. And, and then what? Then hit the ground. You haven't thought this through. There's no need to get drastic. It's okay. We just want to talk. We can talk from there. One of the other guards sort of nudges goes, yeah. <laughs> I think you perfectly fine. All right, all right, all right. We'll talk from here. All right. Um, the man who steps forward with a deep voice is not just wearing normal guard uniforms. He is dressed in Fire Nation soldier again. 
a badge of authority, a real badge of authority on his chest <laughs> as he steps up oh. <laughs> and looks up and goes, I want it. Now listen. This young lady here, convinced that you're part of a, part of a group of dissidents and terrorists involved in the destruction of the uh, Beifong estate and the assassination of one of our ambassadors. Ambassador Bao. I want to know who you are, where you've come from, and if anything this girl is saying is true. Because she has, she said a lot. She has spoken a lot of words in the last little bit. She's been quite uh, adamant about receiving her reward. But one of my guards reported to me that this was simply a lover's spat. I want the truth of it from you, young man. No, it's not. I want my... It's quiet. Quiet. It's you. You've heard your part. Young man. Can can I see the sand ship at all? Nope. <laughs> it's okay. still not there. Because we've got to factor in the time it takes him to get down, to walk around the side of the rock to the sand ship, to then fuck about with the sail and the uh, the cleric for a little bit, the clerk, as well. clerk for a little bit. You you have a bit of time <laughs> to kill, but you don't know this yet. You've got no idea. And plus, you wouldn't be able to see the sand ship in your position. Okay. From okay. where you are. Uh, Third, young man. My my name my my, 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 my my he's stuttering as much as he can. Okay. My my, my name's Hung, Hung Solo, and I, I go I go to Ba Sing Se University in Ba Sing Se, and and that's I've seen Sha there before, and and we came to the rock, and I thought it was great because we came to the rock, and she was already here, and. <coughs> And and we got to know each other, and then and then she told me she liked me, but she doesn't. It was a lie. <laughs> it was Son. all a lie. Son. Son, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. In through your nose. Hold it for three. Through your mouth. Feeling a bit more calm. No. Take another breath. <laughs> through your nose. Count to three. Let it out. Could you take a step back from the edge for me, please? Just one. Don't have to go any further than that. We're not coming up. Al takes one step away from the ledge, but he looks around him first, just quickly see Thanks, thanks very much. Her. Thank you. Thank you. Now look. What you're saying could be true. You could very well have come from Barsing State University. You very well could be a student with this with this young lady. No, I've never seen him before today. No. Sha. Sure. <laughs> You're tearing me apart, Sha. <laughs> you never noticed me at the uni. <clears throat> Look, you said you travelled with some people. Are they also from the university, like yourself? Do you meet them in the desert? We're all from Basing Se University. Okay. Then you'd have no problem telling me who the Dean of Studies is. I would have no problem telling you who the Dean of Studies is. There's a moment of awkward silence here. Yes. Yes. What's her name? You're trying to trick me. It's a pretty simple question, son. No trickery involved. I'd this offer you a yes or no one. answer, but this seems even simpler. Just tell me the Dean of Studies' name. <laughs> I, I'm pretty stressed right now and I can't remember. <laughs> Get him, boys. <laughs> he steps back. <laughs> the Fire Nation soldiers begin running up the steps. <laughs> a simple spell, but Throw not effective. Throw, Throw it! Them. Throw it! Throw um, away. Okay, so so. Never the tent. He's Al one of the boys. <laughs> Al knows that once they get to the top of the staircase, they're going to see the others. Well, and also they'll they'll be able to just grab you once they get to the top of the stairs. Um, so Al takes. I got like five seconds before they get to the top of the stairs, right? It's pretty. Long oh, you've got longer than that. It's like forty stairs. Okay. Gonna, it's going to take them like at least twenty seconds to run up those flights of stairs. They're in armor, holding I weapons. They can only run single file. It's not ideal. Al takes three steps back. Yep. And waits for him to get halfway. Okay. 
and then does a run up. Uh, he pulls his glider out from, yep. like he, he's got his hand on his glider on the, yeah, under, yeah. You know, under the coat, ready to go. Yeah. Um, and he takes a leap off the edge of the cliff. Holy aiming shit. for like the a, aiming to get like a safe like so 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 the the tent of the storage stuff yeah is surrounded by other tents is that correct no 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 it's away from everything else because of the danger of the night so it's isolated uh, and at this point the closest people would be to it is about 15 meters or so so it's okay. near the rock it's it's close to the rock but not right on the borders it's sort of on the sand a little bit and it's positioned in such a way that basically no other tents are around in case one of the magnets okay. was to flip or get knocked or something Cool. So you could say that right now the mob is a safe distance away from that tent. Uh, Define safe. They're about 15 meters away from it. You have no idea what's going to happen when you drop this. I can't, safe. You, you don't know. I can't, I can't tell you because you don't know. <laughs> and how far away are the other tents? Uh, 30 meters or so, much further. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And, and the mob is like away from that group of tents at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the main. So okay. basically, the way, the way I want you to imagine it is um, if you've got, so the southernmost part is where, sorry, the northernmost part is where you guys are standing on the rock. No, sorry, the southernmost part is where you guys are standing because it's the northern tip. North of that is the main collection of tents. A little bit off towards the north uh, east of it is the tent by itself with all the magnetite. So it's okay. in like a triangle. And then um, we're right in the middle of the triangle right now. What are the rules with the glider? Like, like I can't go back up in the air unless it's like really windy right like it glides so you can down use your, you like... can use your air bending to to give yourself a little bit of lift absolutely so you, you can you can get a little bit of lift especially if you were to fly over something letting off lots of hot air or warm air that would give you a bit of lift thermal okay uh, i'll i'll leaps off the cliff yep pull his glider <laughs> um, as you jump off the screamer no i told you we'd do it as you jump off. <laughs> <laughs> pulls out his glider and glides upwards he's like i can fly how um, are you holding the jar? Are you going one handed for this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. When I'm over the the tent with the stuff, instead of throwing it, I kind of like drop it, drop it down to like reduce you, the room for error of the throw. You, my young friend, are pushing your luck. <laughs> Could I have you please? Definitely not skills and training. No, you are pushing your luck. You're jumping off a cliff face, one handed holding a bomb. <laughs> this is. Then trying, ah. to, trying to aim and drop it exactly on top of the tent. This, I feel like this um, is a crucial point moment where we may actually become murderers. Not a, <laughs> not a passionate person. That if is it's a not five. now, it's in two seconds. <laughs> could you, could you uh, tell me what happens on a fail of pushing a like, I believe it specifically says in the photo. I, just wanna, I wanna get this right. But... Um, on a hit, yeah, no, that doesn't matter to me. On a 10 plus, no, that doesn't matter to me either. Um, um, when they hit, if you do. No, so it's up to me. So here's what happens. Um, as you fly overhead, you bump the jar a little bit too vigorously and it explodes. You watch as Arl... No, no, I'm kidding. Um, as... <laughs> Blood splutters everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Arl just explodes fly. like the Death Star. <laughs> uh, no, so... Icarus flying. Arl, yeah, yeah. um, as, as you take off, you lose your grip on the jar instantly. And as oh, as you shit. jump off the cliff, it just drops oh. straight down alongside the staircase towards the bottom of the cliff. You have a few seconds where you, you realize this has happened and you're just okay. able to turn your glider up and out of the way as the jar splatters and hits the ground. And squirts goo everywhere. Okay, but no explosion. No, there's no fire. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're all. It's kind of anticlimactic when you say it like that. <laughs> there's no fire, so it just spiders around. Everyone, there's like, this, like that happen? people put their hands up. I'll, You'd see I'll, I'll jump off. Fully being paying attention, and he's expecting it to explode. Yeah. So he's full bracing himself on the thing. Yeah. Sees it go down, and he's like, "Oh." Um, Did that drop near the people? Yeah. It's like so. Some of them are splattered <laughs> with it. Like it's it's things like, got goo on them. I rush. It. Light I rush it, over. It, oh, okay. It, so as, as, Arl, as Arl is flying up, sort of turning back around to come back towards the section of rock you've carved out. I uh, Sorry, that's been carved out. Marco, you just sprint up and look down. The, most of the goo's kind of splattered over and around the staircase, but just above where these people are. A few people... Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, I, 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 just stone before, before cold. all this happens, I want to yeah. correct you on something. Uh, yes. Arl's... Try, he, he keeps flying forward to okay. the... um 
to the built up tent area because he wants to use that as cover and like jump up again from there. Oh, you could just keep flying. You don't need to. Oh, oh yeah, 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 okay, cool. He's, he's going to fly yeah. towards the meeting point. No, no, yeah. You don't need to land. You're, you're sort of like, so it's the, it's a 20 meter, so you'd be probably about 30 meters off the ground from where you are. Cool, cool. So, cool. no, you're, you're fine. Just wheel oh, around yeah, sorry, and come yeah, back sorry to the Oh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm um, going to try and get the, to the um, sand ship if I can. Yeah, yeah. Or the direction so that I expected it to be coming from. Yeah, so then you definitely have to curve around back over where these guys are. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. Marco, uh, what do you do? For the podcast, please fire. describe in detail. I see the goo on the ground noticing that something went horribly wrong. Expecting it to be on the tent. Yep. I rush over and I go to set it on fire. You look down, you see staircase part of the cliff face covered in this goo, and a few people, a few of the guards have got it like dripping, and, like, wiping it off and throwing it on the ground, trying to get it off them. And only the sort of two or three at the front have bits of goose blood on them. I'm sorry, and I just set a firebolt at the, at the goo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the fire, firebolt shoots down towards the, this, this sort of ball of flame. Could you uh, do me a skills and training, please? Skills and training. Uh, and what's your that? alignment? Uh, so it's getting it's there. getting moved again. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your balance between forgiveness and action. I think we both know where you are moved. To. You sure? You sure? But you've moved you one towards Where's... action. <laughs> Where's skills and I can't even see it. What the? Wait, give me a sec. Basic move. I'll pull it open for you. You'll be able to access your character sheet. Um. There you go. Should be the only one open up the top, just underneath the training. Oh, yeah, the, the big one that... Yeah, why can one. I see that? Yeah, the massive one. <laughs> Absolutely huge. Okay. Nine, okay. Um, Marco, as you let loose this, this ball of fire, it sort of spins and rolls as it heads forwards before striking into the top of the staircase. With a... <laughs> the stairs catch fire with this sort of bluish-green flame, and the staircase begins melting. Um... The guards begin screaming and pushing back, trying to get away from this, shouting as they push away from this flame, which is very, very hot. Um, none of them get set on fire. Uh, I had a quick roll for that. Um, but they are pushing back away from the flame. The captain of the guard calls up and goes, You've just made a powerful enemy, boy. Fire Nation will never stop hunting you. Marco <laughs> Bao, killing your own father. Marco Kins, Kinslayer. Oh, that has a nice ring to it. Kinslayer. So, oh boy. But I'm more powerful. My lord than you will right have now. your head. <laughs> I'll see you later then. And I bow and back away. Oh, Sherpa, sure, just letting you know your camera's right. Bye, Sherpa. Oh, looks cool, Bye, Sherpa. It's like a, like a snap camera. <laughs> uh, I, snap camera. Sorry, my camera. I then run over to like, as soon as I'm like out of sight of them, I then turn around and bolt back towards the cave. Yep. Uh, we, we, we gotta go, guys. Yeah, Oki's yeah. already running. Yeah, everyone out, She's everyone like, out, everyone ready out. Ready to it. <laughs> and just like, just heading towards that sand dune, yeah? Yep. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, as you guys are sort of getting everything together, finally, uh, from up in the air, Al spots the sand ship coming around the corner of the top of the signal. It's still about a minute to two minutes away. I, okay, in that case, I'm just going to light the thing because I don't know how much time we actually have so you're light the oil before they're on us. Okay. Well, well, once everyone's out, once everyone's out, that I care about. <laughs> who's that? Who, so who's still in the cave? I'm a sh there might be guards in there, I don't know. Oh, okay, no, there's no... Yeah, that, that's fine then. Um, then I set that light and I book it. Okay. Um, um, I'll, I'll just going straight to the sand ship yep. as fast as he can, and then using his air bending to make the ship go as fast as they can. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Can you do a skills and training for me, please? Uh, please. Uh, that's definitely. Gonna oh, okay. Not push my luck. <laughs> Want to push your luck? <laughs> please. Skills and training. Um, no, you can push your luck. That's right. You can push your luck. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Training. Definitely skills and training. Okay. Okay. Been, I get pluses for that instead of minuses. Not, not how I thought this would go. 10 a full ten. The sand ship immediately picks up as you begin air bending, sort of miniature tornado in the middle that's assisting from this um, sort of sand bending. The ship immediately sort of lifts up. The front begins aquaplane. Well, the aquaplane, I guess, is 
sand planing. Silica planing as the front of the sand ship picks up and it begins shooting forwards ever faster. Um, Al, you reckon you've halved the time. I think it's only going to be a minute until the sand ship actually gets where it needs to go as it has doubled its pace. Um, oh no, you've done this. Yeah, he lands on the ship next to you and begins airbending. Oh, I land on the ship. I think okay. you notice, yeah. Um, I wasn't um, too sure if it was just in the distance. Cole's not there. Did it do something? Good job, man. Uh, Alright. Probably doesn't this. Yeah, you're a bit in the moment, I suspect. Yeah, I did yeah. wonder that. He's like, um, he's like, wrong, wrong. Things went really bad. I couldn't communicate with you with a rock, <laughs> so I had to. Oh really? Yeah, where, no, really? No, I can, that? no. I, oh, no. It's, it's bad. Tissue. Oh, how bad? Like, like, like kind of bad. Or bad. Like, you know, I, you know, I know you had that thing with that girl who had been doing drugs earlier. But I'm glad that you recovered uh, from your yeah, well, uh, well, trepidation. She, she told a mob on me. Really. No, that's, that's yeah. really unfortunate. Man, it happens to us yeah. all, man. Trust me, it's one of those things. Like, you just got to get over it, man. Honestly, just have it, just talk about it for me anytime, man. It's cool. But honestly, like, we'll be there in a second when we'll get everyone on the, the boat, uh, blow it up, and I'll ride off into the sunset. You know what I mean? Be cool. Detective. She, she, just she, normal she, detective work. She, 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 she ended it with me and turned everyone against me. Like, who does that? <laughs> uh, Man, you don't need those people in your life, man. They're just toxic. You know, they don't have that grind set like us, bro. We rise and grind every day and do still what we do, bro. They just don't understand. You're an alpha, man. Oh, bro. You know, you know what I mean? You're an alpha. Just own that, man. You're a wolf. Bro. Uh, anyway, you don't need these. Up. You don't need them. You both of you stop bending to fist stop, stop sand bending for a second. The ship like... <laughs> With the sudden loss of momentum, the ship jackknives over there. <laughs> then land it. Um... All right, back on top of the rock. Sherva, <laughs> Oki, and Marco. Um, with a crash, you see one of the ironclads push through a section of the tents, um, scattering the people as it begins moving up the stairs. Uh, as it gets up to the point where the fire is, you see firebenders trying to redirect the flame away from the, uh, away from the stairs, away from the building, which is starting to collapse that section of stairs, which is burnt through. Um, it's looking a bit dicey. Uh, what are the three? Run, 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 run. <laughs> Is the oil fuse already set up? Uh, Marco hasn't lit it yet, but it's ready to go. Okay. We just light it and run. Yeah, light and run. Right, cool. <laughs> nice. So, Marco, <laughs> that's okay with you? Light the fuse and run. Because we don't know that Paul is missing. Nope. Oh, he would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Marco, look at the fingers. The oil trail lights and begins burning quite rapidly as it goes disappears inside the cave. Uh, I'm assuming you guys are booking it as hard as you can? Yeah. Can I have all three of you please roll me a push your luck? Oh, <laughs> running running away from an explosion which you are very close to. Eight, eight, <laughs> yep. I'll take it. Take it. Eight's good. Uh, if you've got any special abilities that might assist you with this one. Just checking furiously. Just oh, wait, I still have a hold one, so if anyone fails miserably, one, I can add one. Nine, Sherman, um, sweet as. Andrew's having Wi Fi issues and can't roll. Oh, how do you know? Yes, is he, he messaged me. Why did he message you and not say anything? Come on, Andrew. He, I don't think he can really hear us or anything. Oh, Andrew, can you hear us? Oh, My he bad. managed to do it. Can you hear us? <laughs> Nine, yeah, he's fine. Yeah, yes. we'll, can you hear me? Back? Yeah, we can hear. Yeah, you look good. Am you I? Good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was having really bad troubles. Oh no, like, you looked all good. You, from I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> yeah. Yep, okay. no, at, at, at no point did you look anything other than you. Can, you know, I was watching the um, the latency. Fine. Okay. Weird. No complaints. Um, yeah, uh, you guys begin like booking it. Um, as you run, a section of the cliff face where you are stepping down crumbles beneath you, and all three of you drop down this narrow slide. Luckily, as the area above you, with this... <laughs> the rock begins collapsing in on itself above you, sending showers of stones shooting out in every direction. You hear a crash as something metallic is struck by a section of rock. I'm not sure what as you begin sliding down this uh, section of the rocky cliff face. Below you, you can see the sand ship is heading really quite quickly towards your location. Overhead, a massive section of the cliff face shoots out and lands with a thud in the sand, scattering up the sand, followed by lots of smaller rocks all across the sand. As you begin sort of like Oh scurrying. no! What's wrong? 
as you begin. I don't I, know. No, 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 don't worry. I know exactly what I'm describing. Um, as you begin sort of like sliding down the side, you reach the sand as the sand ship begins moving towards you, Manazaki, so close. There's still about a few seconds left before the sand ship gets to your location. Are you just going to start running across the sand towards the sand ship or wait for the sand ship? <laughs> Say something cool. I think Arky's just looking else. at it like... Yeah, just yeah. 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 I'll, just, I'll be like, oh, I'll grab the yeah. rope and throw it to him in case I need someone to grab hold of. Quick! Like, throw it at them like a life uh, boy in a way so we can drive by. Or maybe I can slow down I'll, a bit. I don't know how much. If I slow down, if it will slow us down too much to keep momentum. Now, I... did that metal clang sound like magnets? You don't know. What do magnets sound like, Andrew? <laughs> oh, shit, you're right. Oh, they work. <laughs> <laughs> what did it sound like? <laughs> An ironclad just being crunched, which well, we have heard. Probably made a lot of vibrations in the sand. Yeah, that, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. Yep. Um, okay. As you guys are booking it towards the sand ship, over towards your left in the deeper desert, a section of dune begins moving towards you guys. Very quickly revealed to be the bow wake, the sand wake of an enormous sand wake. We gotta go. As we get closer to yep. this ship, I yell out for Ang to grab some rope and throw it to Oki. I grab Marco around the waist and I throw my whip out to catch the mast and throw us onto it. Oh my god, amazing. Yeah, can you roll me the skills and training? That is awesome. Absolutely. Hopefully it works. <laughs> I'll that, throw that the rope is, very coolly. Cool as <laughs> Hey, full success! Eleven. Sheva, yes. as, as the rope yes. flies towards you, you just whip it around, Marco. Your whip goes out. <laughs> Indiana Jones style wraps around the mast yeah. of the ship and you whip yourselves on towards the boat. Oki sort of just behind. As you get on the boat, nice. um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Rung and Arv, you just notice this bow weight coming towards you guys. It's still about a minute off, but this massive dune just moving towards the sea wall. Great speed. Sorry, it wouldn't be about a minute ago. Seconds or so moving quite rapidly towards the rock. Now that you're out a little bit away from underneath it, you can see. So for, for Rung and for um, Arl, you watch the top of the rock explode. As it did so, it sent showers of this metallic rock shooting out into the desert, which landed all across this area, this massive debris field of rocks. The top of the rock has now collapsed. And the whole side is now a smooth face again. It looks like it possibly did before the excavation section has collapsed in its leaving only the, the jagged outcroppings. From the south end of the rock, with an enormous buzzing noise, hundreds of buzzard wasps begin pouring out oh. of the holes at the south end oh, of the no. rock, shooting into the air. <laughs> <laughs> we brought upon the apocalypse here, guys. <laughs> 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 I assume no one will know we're here because no one will survive to tell the tale. <laughs> uh, guys, what is Cole? He was supposed to be with you. Hmm? Drunk? Cole? Hey? Cole? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Cole. Ah, don't know where he is. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he went mad. Uh, he's got taken what? back by the guards. Yeah, yeah, he started just talking things about eco terrorism to guards. Well, sunstroke, or maybe he'd eaten too much of that, uh, you know, wasp poo or something like that. Uh, but anyway, he started like cracking under pressure. I don't know, I made up a story and now I'm believing it myself. Either way, he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, we can turn back if you want to get home, you can save. Uh, I'm assuming you guys are still moving the ship at this point. The wave yeah, this has is just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the wave has just hit the edge. The wave of sand has just hit the edge of the rock, and you watch as the biggest sandworm you've ever seen, easily 140, 150 metres long, rises out of the desert. Mouth easily sort of 30 metres diameter as it reaches out and comes down on top of the tents over the other side. Oh, oh no! We have still not killed a single person. That's the big mum. <laughs> well, how did they don't eat people, right? That was the thing, like, they don't um, actually they, yeah, they don't they eat they, people. Like, spit them back out. Yeah, they're herbivores. We're still not yeah. done with the escalation. Um, as the boat oh, no. begins drawing further and further away, 
there's a pulse that moves through the sand. The sand begins shaking ever so slightly. <laughs> oh, I feel something in my rising my from the does. inside of the rock. An enormous blue spirit oh, begins to emerge. <gasps> you watch oh, no! as a huge whale with six sets of flippers, tendrils of fur coming off it into the distance, emerges from the rock. The sandworm immediately dives back into the sand and disappears from view. So only sort of diving down on one section of the tents. The whale rising high, these sort of tendrils of, uh, of white fur, we gotta go. and tendrils of, of smoke, rises higher, sort of flapping its uh, its large flippers and rising above. From the desert all around you, tiny fish begin swimming out from the sand. The sky begins darkening, taking on a blue hue. And you see ghostly bubbles in the sand as, well, as the spirit of the ocean floor begins to return. All around you, it looks like you are underwater. Ghostly fronds and ferns and coral that are appearing next to you. Rock shapes of a long, dead ocean. Fish, hundreds of thousands of fish, squids, of all creatures, various uh, avatar style amalgamations. And some beaver fish, and some giraffe fish see there is a horse shark <laughs> swimming fish. through the water yeah because it's avatar right um yep. and it's all it's all like yeah you can see you can see there's a uh, there's a bear wobby gong um <laughs> moving through the water um all these like hybrid animals uh swimming along uh, as well as a, a turtle platypus um, as well as the ocean is basically reconstituted in this ghostly spiritual form the mast of the sand ship begins glowing with this crackling blue flame. It's an almost fire. What would you guys like to do? <laughs> so we're now probably only about sort of a hundred or so meters away from this massive whale rising from the above. Uh, uh, I'm not crazy, <laughs> right? All of you can see this. Uh, Yes, the fish are real. Yes, oh, we yeah. agree cool, now. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> <laughs> no question of a doubt, the fish are real. What are we going to do about my burning bullet? <laughs> I want to apologize for doubting you, but you were also too obsessive about it. So, um, I need more. I need more answers. Need more answers. But for, I can try kind of, kind of control the flames. Like, see if I can do that. Like you do yeah. the water thing. Um, yeah, I was going to say you I have the some water on, so I'm going to try and put it out. Yeah. Marco, as you reach out and begin trying to bend these flames, the blue sort of traces back down your orange flames. You watch as your orange flames take on this light blue hue. Huh. Well, shit. I'm not going to do anything. Any this different? Is... Am I still controlling them or are they not mine anymore? No, not yours. So trace yeah, it back down to your so. hands and then poofs out. Hmm. Oh shit. During a horsefish. I'm gonna bring them up. Giraffefish. <laughs> Giraffefish. I like the picture like a turtle, je- a turtle jellyfish, like a turtle shell with jellyfish tentacles. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. 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 <laughs> and then um, the turtle head comes out to look. I think we just gotta go. I think we just gotta run. Does it look like it's burning the side? No. No, no, it's a very sort of a. a Almost like, you know how um, when you set alcohol on fire, it's got a very light blue flame that's almost invisible. It doesn't consume anything but the alcohol. It's almost like someone's doused your mast in this clear spirit. The mast isn't crackling, it's not burning, there's no scorch marks. But it is burning with this strange eldritch flame. The, the, the Quenchus has leveled up everyone. A sign from the spirit gods that we've done I well. really want to, you know what, I go and touch it. <laughs> yeah, Marco, the, the blue flame sort of across your hands and between your fingers. And you watch as some of the fish get a little bit closer to investigate the fire dancing across your fingers. I try to grab one. Roll me, push your luck. Eh. Marco, grab onto the tail of this fish. Your hand <gasps> does not pass through. You are holding the fish just as it is wriggling, trying to get away. Uh, guys, we need to get to the whale. Go with the fish, you psychopath. I don't know if we want to go near the whale. No, when he gets to the whale. If we, if we go to the whale, we will die. Yeah, do you just see the giant worm? Buzzards. 
We can, go I can go all that. We can fix that. Just, we just need to get to the whale. Why? I can fix everything. What needs fixing? We're good. <laughs> okay, still. Don't worry. Okay, so you guys are still sandbending and airbending the ship away from. I mean, uh -huh. still and everyone else wants to turn around uh, to the. If I move away from the blue fire, does the fish get away? No. How far away are we from the whale? Uh, now probably about 140 to 150 meters. Don't you dare! See, the thing is, I dare. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch up with you guys later. Oh shit! Okay. Marco jumps off the sand ship. Yep. Okay. Um, the you guys temptation watch. to use my whip to grab your ankle. No, but if, if Sherva would do that, then Sherva should do that. If that's something Sherva would do. Irregardless of what Andrew No, wants. she jumps off after him. Okay. Yep, Sherva jumps um, off the ship too. Does does the fish is it like is there anything about the fish in the teachings that Al would have had from like the elders at the air temple in terms you of the know that all um all spirits are, are individual creatures and sometimes they can be the, the souls of things. Astral world. Sometimes they're their own things. Spirits in the world. Um, these, it's hard to say. You do get the sense that these are maybe echoes or remnants of a time when this place was a, was a mission. So not, um, um, not traditional spirits per se, but maybe the I, echoes I guess, of... Oh, I guess based on these teachings, does Al think it's safe or like one sec uh, Al knows that so from your spiritual training with the enemies you know that spirits are treated with great respect you don't fuck with spirits um, you, you treat them respectfully what Marco's just done yeah. grabbing a fish out of the air and now running towards the whale with it you do not suspect that is what Oh, looks at Rung and Oki. Should we should gonna... we stop them? <sighs> They're gonna die Maybe. otherwise, aren't they? Play super games, win super prizes with big blue gods that are burning my boat right now, but not really burning it. I'm very confused. I did call for a living, and this is out of my pay grade, but I know we need to protect people that make dumb decisions, whether we like it or not. I like call. Sand bending the boat, just like a big, like sort of wide bay, just. <laughs> Yep. big bit of like sand comes flying up from one side making the captain's coal no mutinies and no abandoning ship all right so you're gonna come around and pick back around yeah yep. yeah I'll, I'll assist in that you too mark on shiver as you guys are running after a few seconds the boat catches up alongside you <laughs> you see the other three are still on the boat like to just imagine like when's like you're like in the movies where like the kids try and run out the car and then like you're just like slowly <laughs> going beside them like hey what you doing yeah, yeah, trying yeah. to run away. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was that's, like, <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, I, like that. I, I, I was like, hey, losers, we're going shopping. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a ride. Hey, losers, we're going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Slow hula. Marco and Sherva, do you jump on? Yeah. I'm assuming. That you're I grab him. Okay, cool. And make yeah. him jump <laughs> on. Nope, nope. You don't want to get on the this boat? Is my chance. This is my chance. So you're not We're going, going the boat, right? to the blue thing. Calm down. You're going to the blue thing. I'm circling around in a safe distance, ready to pick us up for anything bad inevitably going to happen. <laughs> As I start um, moving with you on board. Marco, are, are you getting on the boat or not? I need to know. After hearing that we're going to the blue thing, yes. Okay, you I'll jump on the boat. On um, <laughs> I, I know we're not, but like... You can see now that the buzzard wasps are circling this giant whale above it in a massive pack almost like uh, was it vultures circling the prey the whale's kind of reaching up towards the sky now just underneath the cloud layer as, you get closer and closer. as you do you can see that the schools of fish behind you are swirling around almost chasing you as you carry this fish that you're holding on towards the edge of the rock. and as you get closer they explode against the rock almost like a wave pouring over the edge and up towards the whale the whale stops its ascent turns four massive eyes 
two on each side. So sort of turn and look down towards you. This thing is huge. And as it lowers and gets closer and closer, you can see that a number of these like fleshy strand like tentacles have lights on them. Almost like an anglerfish coming up from the It As it sinks into part of the rock, its massive head looking down at you. Breathes out this puff of salty sea air across your face. It's blast of cold. It smells like the ocean. Depths of the ocean. Okay. I bow before I hold up the fish and just yell out, I wish to correct my mistakes. Okay. That's what you say? Yep. Oh boy, that is so vague. Um, <laughs> that was yep. a mistake. That was a mistake. You, uh, vague is not what you wanted for this. Um... I wish to correct my mistakes. Okay, yeah. Um, but like in my mind, I'm thinking of back okay. at the um, uh, meeting and how like I let everything turn sideways, got everyone in trouble. What are you thinking uh, specifically? Is there a moment you're thinking of specifically? Um, letting the fire, not telling my father about what's happening, that everything's going okay. bad. Gotcha. So not telling your father about what... Um, what uh, the fire nation is doing. Was doing. Yeah. Uh, sorry, no, it wouldn't. It was General Zhao. General Zhao. General Zhao was doing. Okay. No, sorry, Captain Zhao. Captain Zhao. What Captain Zhao was doing. Well, yeah, okay. what, yeah, yeah, whoever it yeah, was. Yeah. Okay, so not telling your father what Captain Zhao was doing. Okay, and that's the image you're holding in your head. That's the mistake. Yeah. Okay. That's the mistake. Could you roll me a percentile dice, please? Uh, you want to get as close to 100 as you can. Don't get your pet to roll for you. Don't get your pet to roll for you. <laughs> Grateful little boy. And if it's a one, he turns into a zombie. <laughs> he comes out of one, yeah. Spirit zombie. A spomby. No. Can can a ghost and a zombie come from the same person? Oh god. Wasn't this like a ghost pirates thing in South Park or something? Ghost pirates. Were they pirates? They were ghosts. Or ghosts that were pirates. Now. Yes. Am I still here? Yeah, you're still here. Yeah. <laughs> You haven't rolled yet. Oh, no. wait. Because no. my thing says it's rolling the dice. It just hasn't rolled it yet. Ah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Maybe this is the cliffhanger we end I'm on. Do it again. That's right, I'll take if, if you roll again, it's two. I'll take the first one. Oh, oh, oh shit. I said I'd said take the first one before oh, I saw it. Shit. I said I'd take the first one before I saw it. Okay. I, I, I did say out loud I would take the first one before I saw it. The first one is a 93. The second one is a 16. We will take the first one, the 93. Okay, <laughs> that's good. As vague as your wish is, verbalized, the image you have in your mind is incredibly clear and incredibly specific. As you hold up this fish, it suddenly moves between your fingers. As, as it, again, as you cannot touch it anymore, it goes back to the spirits. You watch as all around you, the coral masses of fish and life just fade into nothingness until only the whale remains above. The sky is still this dark blue. And then the sunlight begins to creep around the edges. And with this sudden rush, only this specific area above the rock is still blue, just the way. As it begins fading into the light, disappearing back into the spirit lines. On top of its head, this large, massive tendril unfurls with this light on the end that's pulsing very softly. It comes right up level with your head, there's this pulse of light blinding all of you. And as you blink your eyes open, as it is as it was. Spirits, see Wong Rock still in place. Fluttering on the breeze, you see one of the wanted posters. And as you reach up and catch it, Marco, and look down, the text begins fading and changing. Wanted for the murder of Ambassador Bao. Oh. It's fading and rearranging or bleeding away the ink, disappearing. The picture begins to then fade. The text underneath it changes itself to a wanted poster of the Dai Li. Wanted for disruption of the summit by Ambassador that is where we're going to finish for tonight. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. That's so cool. 
that is where we're wrapping up, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. That was a, that's going to be fun to explore the consequences of that. Oh. Um, but yeah, oh, sorry, I should, so, so, so just to specify, um, the Dahlia wanted, and then it's like contact Ambassador Bao in relation to Oh, thank God, thank God. Okay, I was so confused. And un Sorry, oh. and underneath ah. it, and underneath that, I should also say missing uh, is missing. My son, Marco Bao, his guard, Sherva. Sherva, uh, what's her last name? Sherva Dahlia. Sherva Sherva. Sherva Sherva. Sherva Dahlia. Sherva Sherva Stan. Sherva Dahlia. Yeah, and, and there's a wanted, wanted in connection with the disappearance of my son, Marco Bell. God, Sherva does. Are the rest of us still wanted, do you reckon? Well, that's a very good question. Would you be wanted by the Fire Nation if you've had absolutely no connection to any wrongdoing in their eyes? Ah. No, but we probably had that. <laughs> Exonerated from all yeah. more previous war crimes. <laughs> Just as you commit brand new ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Alrighty, that is that is where we're going to end up. We're going to explore the uh, the consequences of this decision um, somewhat later. But uh, I'm look really really nicely done, guys. You got out of a sticky situation there. And, uh, Marco, clutch roll with your percentile dice. Given how fucking vague your wish was, it's like a monkey's paw. So basically, the the way the wishes work in this is that you need to be hyper specific or it's going to be deliberately misinterpreted yeah um, but because you had such a specific image in your mind and it was a single event not all your mistakes just a single mistake no, just one. so clear i went Do you know what if that's what you're holding in your mind then yes i think let's have a percentile and see how open to misinterpretation that is 93 percent it interpreted 93 percent of the intention behind you which that's a lot of percent <laughs> yeah so yeah that's why we went with that mid. 16? Okay. That oh, would God. have been that would have been disastrous. I that would have been awful. Something, I had something in mind with that one, but I, I might I'm not gonna say I'm gonna share that because that would have been disastrous. So, <laughs> that for, save that for later. Save that for later. <laughs> when I um, make another wish. Yeah, exactly. Uh awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's session. I certainly have. It's very unexpected the way that turned out. I wasn't expecting most of what happened tonight to happen. I kind of figured this would go in a completely different direction, but um nope. when in when in doubt. Throw grenades at your enemies. Blow it up. Made yourself, <laughs> and, and uh, <laughs> gaslight, uh, gaslight women. Apparently, is the message for this. No, absolutely not. Um, <laughs> Don't come here for morals every week. No. But do throw grenades. It does work. Exactly. Yeah, the, ga the gaslighting was real. Holy shit! <laughs> it was so funny. Oh. And then threatening to commit suicide to like get them to, get them to leave you alone. Unbelievable. <laughs> so good. <laughs> um, awesome. Glad I didn't see anything that happened. Yeah. Um, thank you so much. Everybody. And then letting an old person take the fall for your crimes. Ideal. Like the trifecta of good morals. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was okay until I seen a sandworm devour this. <laughs> so my question is, do you think do you think that camp's been destroyed? As in like in this timeline? Well, things have changed a bit, haven't they? Yeah. If you weren't wanted well, we by the Fire the... Nation, if you weren't wanted by the Fire Nation for, um, oh, uh, we wouldn't have blown crimes, up. They wouldn't have attacked you. Huh. Okay, so what changes now? Holy shit! That's what we're gonna yeah, find yeah, out. How, next how did we get here? Right. Next yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Only needs a week to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. no, I, know, I know. I know exactly. I, I had a, I had an idea of what Mark would want to reverse. I thought it would be something slightly different. But it's very similar in terms of what I have what? to do, so I know. So I, I wonder if you thought. would try and. Uh, I thought you'd try and reverse, um, essentially like telling uh, Captain Zhao and communicating with him. I thought instead of that, you would go um, keep stay with the others. So in my mind, I thought because because I assume because that was kind of the catalyst for a bunch of things happening. So I thought that you would cancel that rather than talking to him and not take the plans, report it to your father, have your father come and like see all that. Yeah, so very similar. Not too far off what you would think. Not too far. Not too far. Alrighty. We're going to have some fun next session. Thank you so much, everybody. Stay safe, stay well. We will see you all again next week. Uh, if you're free, Saturday morning, Australian Eastern Standard Time, around about 8, 9 o'clock, come join me for some Pokemans. Pokemon Legend Arts. Good playing it. That's it. Until then, stay safe, stay well. Farewell. Bye. 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 Bye